Wolf to Island One. He wasn't teaching hate, he was teaching common sense. You know, somebody's knocking you over the head, stop them. Do whatever you have to do to stop them. You know, the, the ones that were knocking him over the head were afraid of him, of the fact that he might swing back. So they said, now he's teaching hate, he's violent. Skin white mask Already know that life gets hard And they say that we're used to the harshness If it wasn't for the pain I'd laugh Truth is we knew about light before dark Turn music to art and taught everyone to dance uh, There's still no chance Freedom must be too much to ask Bleeding from the ache in my heart Sometimes I wish it was whites in the middle like France No, I'm not racist, just jarred Got hate before bush, not plants they say we should leave it all in the past But my brother's still dying on the end so I can't So if my attitude stinks don't ask Cause a hashtag won't help you understand my stance for a melody This is real rap if you ever see Head hot cause the system won't let me be Tell me how I thrive in a place that don't cherish me And they wonder why we all need therapy Pre the energy yeah, Just another nigga to Penelope And they don't get it how we bottom of the barrel When still drip sauce on the world no recipes Weight of the world on my shoulders All the pressures in life still tightly holding me Poor libation for all of the fallen soldiers But the pain still goes unspoken They want us to stay broken Never gonna fall, fuck folding I see my people lost hope, shit Don't you know we all been chosen? We are oppressed We are exploited We are downtrodden We are denied not only civil rights But even human rights so the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against the common enemy. Forgive me if you don't understand. Sorry, I'm just misunderstood. Punished if I try to take a stand. Meanwhile, my friend's dying in the hood. And you can say that we're killing ourselves, but truth is they're killing us still. How you saying black lives matter, but never took a moment to help. Just a trend that you post for yourself. And yeah, it takes a toll on my health. Cause I want wealth like everyone else. But it's ten times harder for me. And they wonder why my brothers put food on a scale. Yeah, when I die, I'll see heaven, that's real. <laughs> Cause we already living in hell. Wish I could share all the pain I felt, oh well I guess I won't speak till my scars do heal I just wanna be black with a mill Yeah, that's for every time I had no meals Cause my mother couldn't keep up the bills With a handful of kids, no home, just a cell And I don't care if conscience don't sell Knowledge brings height to an elf Went from sitting on thrones to a cell Been blessed, man, it wasn't by chance we fell Weight of the world on my shoulders All the pressures in life still tightly holding me Libation for all of the fallen soldiers But the pain still goes unspoken They want us to stay broken Never gonna fall, fuck folding I see my people lost hope, shit Don't you know we all been chosen Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad Does he teach hate? You should ask yourself, who taught you to hate being what God gave you? Yeah, this is real life. Car came here scared. Real talk. We're coming from the ghetto. Kin on Donny Da, Slam Tanzania, Mpaka UK. The world finest. Yeah, Pambana Kijana. Life is too hard, life is too short. Shao Kwanango Chageto, Uskari Jama, Yuo Kumba, Ipo Siku Tutatuboa, Tutatoka, Gang for Life. Blessed love, people, blessed love, blessed love, blessed love. Yes, indeed, we are back here. Blessed love, his time is up, family. I don't often, um, I don't often. Uh, play the end of that tune, you know, but that's actually a brother called uh, Defresh, or as we know him as Daim from Dar es Salaam, and that was actually um, who my daughter collaborated with on that track. He became a really good friend of ours, him and his family and stuff. But he's uh, definitely a very big artist in Tanzania, so I thought I'd give him a little mention. 
a little mention. <clears throat> I have done so much culling today, people. So much culling have I done today um, in terms of blocking certain people, just making sure they can't come in here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, they always come on fake accounts and make me ones up. But for the time being, I think that uh, we're going to see less of them tonight. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, what's made me really, really sad today, people, is the fact that I was supposed to be uh, a sister was supposed to be coming on to talk about her experience of the individual that everyone's talking about this week. Oh, actually, I'll show you him in a minute. But Jeff, the chef, <laughs> Jeff, the chef from Brixton. Uh, I remember seeing him all over the place in Brixton, but I do know that he kind of took up residency, if you like, at Box Park when it went up, you know. And um, hey, Jeff, the chef, you know. Jeff the damn chef. Actually, I can't get it on that one. I'm trying to get a picture of him right now, which I neglected to upload. You know what I'm like. This is probably going to be a really disorganized live because I'm not organized for it one bit. Loads too much going on. Uh, and we're just going to play it by ear, to be fair. Because uh, what I had scheduled was the sister to come on. But you see all of the trolling that goes on, as we know from the Claire Kennedy pit of the earth people. People like this sister are scared of that. They don't want to be pursued. They don't want to be chased down. You understand? They don't want to be exposed because she didn't want to put her camera on. Don't want none of that. So she's got cold feet. She needs to kind of like gather her thoughts, think about it, and then probably we'll see her next week. Hopefully, inshallah, you know, she can get to speak how she wants to speak because there isn't just one victim. And also under the post, there was some people defending him. I think a, a goddaughter and whatever. And, you know, that's, let them do that, cha. They're youths, you understand? They weren't even around when probably some certain things were going on, or maybe they were. But at the end of the day, um, it's pretty difficult, you know? I was kind of preying it the other day, and I was thinking to myself, even though I would like people to reserve judgment, even though I would like people to keep an open mind, which I believe I would, but then I would, you know? If someone came to me and said my son or my nearest and dearest did that, I wouldn't immediately jump to their aid and, and be defending it because of what I know. But at the same time, I would struggle. We all would. So these people that defend their family members, and you know, people have varying degrees of capabilities and whatever in order to, you know, think outside of themselves and whatever else, you know, be open minded and, and uh, objective as opposed to subjective. We get that, you know. But after all that you've seen and said that's been said and all that's been done, surely even the the, the most uh unenlightened person can see that there is something definitely afoot in our community that has hitherto not been exposed, is now exposed, and um, keep an open mind, people. That's all I say. We, we very rarely, unless that person is being disrespectful in the comments, you know, calling people names and making threats and all that kind of nonsense, you understand, if they're, if they're incessant with what they're doing, then we might block them. Then we might have an argument with them. But for the most part, if you really study my comments, most people are just left to their devices and those for and those against will battle it out in the comments. You understand? Somebody is too much or they say, you know, they're too uh, disparaging towards the movement or towards me personally, you might see me up in there. That is the pattern of our comments. Every time, always, every time, you know? So... That's what we're going to say. And as I say, I'm improvising tonight because uh, that sister's scared. And that's not the first time this has happened. But can you imagine anyone that's got cold feet that um, in this current climate, with everything that's going on with these despicable people, and they've been at it again. Now, I was looking to do some screenshots, and I might still share it because at this stage, I'm, the gloves are off for me. I don't really care who won, vex, who don't want to vex, who, who thinks that I'm being over the top, who don't. These people have done more than be over the top, the despicable and disgusting things that they did. Do you understand? That's what we're going to be um, moving across tonight. Again, even though I said last week we wouldn't, but they're still going on with some fuckery. That's what they're doing. Yeah? Um, for instance... Uh, accusing me of not being able to see my grandchildren because I beat them up and because uh, I'm banned from seeing them because I'm a threat to them. Things like that go deep to the core. Do you understand me, people? So today I think I'm going to tell a little bit of my story and I'm going to take you guys down memory lane a little bit, you know, because apparently as well, 
I'm only known on the spoken word scene, and, and that's recent because before they said that I wasn't in a band called Slovo, didn't happen. They have their receipts. Can you remember Claire Kennedy? We got our receipts, receipts on the backside, no such a thing. So they've probably done a soft search on YouTube, didn't find anything, but there is something. And there's, uh, you know, my thing is historic. A lot of it is on VHS video and hasn't been uploaded and, and stuff like that. So they think they can just search and they, they know me. You don't know nothing about me. You understand? So we're going to go down uh, a little trip back down memory lane. Yeah, back down memory lane. Uh, Mario Dog. Ain't seen you for a bit, bro. How's Brom? I'm going to go on a little trip down memory lane uh, and I'm going to kind of expose you guys to a little bit of my past. Uh, it's going to involve acti activism, music and stuff like that. And I just thought it might be a nice way to do the live. And do you know what? We've been saying for so long that we need to break it up a bit and not just do cases every week, every week, every week cases. How long have I been saying that? Uh, how long have I been saying that with the team as well? Blessed love, actually, the uh, mods, because I didn't hell you up, and I have to hell you up. Blessed love, Grandma Liz. Love, peace, and unity. Uh, and I know our other mods are in the clouds. Last time I said that, they were accusing me of lying, because you can't mod from the clouds. Of course you bloody can. My mods put people in timeout. You just see them disappear, and you don't know who done it. The only time you're going to know who the mods are is if they comment, right? we got a bag of mods on here. And if you go on with anything, you'll just be taken out. You'll be spirited away and nobody will know why. The fact is, two of them will be commenting. The rest are in the clouds. That's how we like it now. Because we don't need people pursuing people's lives for the sake of trying to keep peace. That we do not need, right? I've done a lot of culling, as I said. I was expecting less in there tonight. And I should have really done a member's live, but I couldn't get them out of there. But I just didn't want a big live with people spectating and comment in and doing whatever they do you know so um we took measures but at the same time <laughs> thank you grandma liz at the same time let's just go down a, on a little trip down memory lane who put up a one if you remember these people because i'm here to kind of uh i don't have to justify shit. i was going to upload my degrees and stuff but i couldn't hide the watermark and someone said to me but why do you have to justify it to them because you never have and i, I was like fair enough i don't do you know what I mean? But when somebody is consistently telling lie on you out there, that's a footprint. You don't need that. There are some people that will just catch that lie and they don't see the other half of it, you know? And that's not a good place to be in for anybody at the end of the day. So they're doing what they're doing. Part of me is glad they're doing what they're doing because we're just stacking evidence. That's what we're doing. Um, and if you look at over the piece, you know, I haven't returned much fire. And I get a lot of criticism from my followers for that because they know me to return fire. But like I said before, we are playing chess here. That is what is going on. So let's get into it. I'll get a picture of Jeff the Chef while I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, and we'll get back to talking about him as well and his disgusting crimes. Absolutely disgusting crimes. And the fact that people are still defending him, even though he's convicted. Um, I was talking to a brother not long, just minutes before the live went live, and we were just reasoning, and I forgot the time, so I came off. That's why I was a little bit late. I was like, oh, my God, i got to go live. But, you know, he was telling me that some people were talking about reggae clown and stuff, um, and, and how it was interesting that when other people talk about these situations or these issues, nobody really says much, or they join the argument, it is what it is. But when I do it, oh, God, they're all up in arms. Uh, and all the rest of it. But we have to keep in focus, people, that the only people that are up in arms are the people I have called out or people associated with them or people that have that kind of volition themselves because anybody in their right mind in this community of ours that seen what goes down out there is in agreement with me and they are in the, major in the majority. Whether or not they're a silent majority is irrelevant. I spoke to a sister today, big up sister. If you're here now, you said you would be watching. Um, and she reassured me, there is a silent majority with you, sister. She contacted me. Um, I'd never heard from this sister before. She called me, contacted me. I called her back um, and we had a reasoning. You know, big up the sister. You know who you are. Uh, she's part of the silent majority. And why are people more silent in the majority than they used to be? Because these terrorists are threatening to invade their lives, in, invade their privacy, invade their places of work for the mere fact that they agree and they are in support. Now, not everybody can stand that. And like I said, I will stand in the gap, and I'm standing in the gap, not only for victims, but also for the silent majority. 
That's what it is, you know? And how do I substantiate my claims? With our numbers. My YouTube following has gone up. My Instagram following has gone up since this crap started, yeah? You may not see everybody commenting, but they are there, believe me, and it's gaining new ground. We're about to break into TikTok as well. At that time, they're going to fart. Let's see what goes down on TikTok. Someone's got to teach me how to use it, though. <laughs> I have no idea. I was trying to get my head around it the other day. And someone else suggested to me as well, don't be shy of it. You can make money on there, and it's a great way to raise money for the movement. Brilliant. That's what we'll do. I won't have to ask anybody anymore. That's what it sounds like. Still don't understand it, but I will get my head around it. Someone, with my One of my daughters was trying to explain it. Uh, and she was saying something about a game. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to play any games. I don't need that. There's something about gifts and I don't get it. That's what I'm showing you. Uh, and I'm not sure because I've always seen TikTok as being a little bit crass and for the youngers. And, you know, it kind of lacks a certain quality for me. I don't know what type of people are going to be tuning in and what the mood is going to be like. Do you know what I mean? It just seems a bit, oh. That's why I've stayed off it. I made an account once. And I never uploaded anything. I think it's probably still sitting there, that account. Anywho, let's take a little trip down memory lane, people. Put up a one if you remember when these people put out um, something. Do you know what? We're going to remember because we have been sitting on that page, screenshotting and screen recording any, everything for our bag of evidence. So we see everything they put out. They blocked me recently, by the way. Queen Nanny A is now blocked. <laughs> Took their time. Can't see the page again, but... I don't know what they think that's going to do, because if they understand that uh, most of the people who follow them are people that are in my corner on fake separate accounts, most of them. Yeah. Go through your, your list and see how many of those people are actually real. And a lot of those people who ain't my people are their people. That's who's on that page, because I'm telling you, I've done a litmus test for the last week and very few of my people, especially the ones abroad, I've heard about them. Yeah. And there's so many people that are going, huh? I thought I didn't know this was going on. I haven't caught up with your page, your page for a while. I haven't caught up with your page. I've just glimpsed social media, but I haven't caught up with your page. So they're not really aware of these people and their numbers are certainly not growing. Now you've got Hungry Belly Afro Belly that wants to try to uh, monetize off my name. She's trying to uh, claim this week that uh, I've been having a, a relationship with Milton McGowan. Excuse me. But I have a relationship and them kind of things going out is, is, is not only disrespectful to me because the man is a complete dotty bungle and certainly not my type. I don't like hair on the head. I like them clean shaven. I don't like those light skin or mid brown brothers. I like them black as cool. Yeah. I don't like a beer gut. Man's got to work out. I try and keep in shape. Why can't they? Yeah. I do like a man like fine wine because I'm up in age now. And you see when a brother has aged well. And he's got his little greys going on and stuff like that. That's what I like. Not Dotty Lutz, Milton McGowan. Are you all right? You're the one who said he was good looking. You let yourself slip. Yeah. I'm not the one who needs to come out with uh, my cleavage showing all the time. I'm not the one who couldn't help myself at a performance for survivors by wearing uh, something that looked like you were walking uh, on, 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 on the strip. On, is it Sunset Strip? She she once considered um, tried to class me as somebody a girl with her on a back road. Are you flipping having a laugh? I think you're the one who ends up in Portmore the way you you behave and the way you present yourself, like your skin catch fire when you see man. Do you understand what I'm saying? What the hell? Do you know what I mean? I'm a big woman. I've got my children, and incidentally, you want you want to mention people's children. You were never a good mother to Nefronika. That's why your relationship is fragmented, fractured and difficult. I don't have no beef with my children. They love me. Why? Because I've been there for them. So go sit on Dutty Girl about back road. Uh, you're, you're off of Sunset Strip. How about that? Do you understand? You certainly look like that in them fishnet stockings coming to trigger the sisters. You understand me? How dare you with your frowsy self? And I'll tell you another thing, woman. Yeah. At the end of the day, how old are you? I think when I met you, which was a couple of years ago now, you told me you were 37, 38. So that makes you coming up on 40, yeah? I'm going to share something with you guys. I don't need to plaster my face in makeup. I'm a 55-year-old woman. I still don't do it. I get a bit of lippy. That's as much as it goes unless I've got a gig, I've got something doing. 
I don't need to plaster myself in makeup to hide the flaws. I am naturally beautiful and I certainly was shining it at your age. You understand me? I'm going to share something with you guys. Fire tonight for real. I'm not having it, especially not off of that sour crutches girl. You understand me? How dare you? Nobody has come from my life onto your platform telling us about uh, uh, how much I've ripped them off, how nasty I was, how I tried to take their man. Nobody's come to you. Where is your evidence? Four hours if you sit in there, no receipts, no uh, witness testimony, chatting what you don't know. Do you understand? And because I choose not to befuddle my people with great words and big words and psycho babble, it doesn't mean that I can't. Dare you come on this platform and watch me done you with exactly that. You understand? You don't know who you're dealing with. Uh, you really don't know who you're dealing with, actually. You really don't. You really don't. You're an Isacha. You're late in the tribe. You're known as a, as a teenager of the tribe under our 12 tribes. Yeah? I am I am Judah, the lion. Know yourself. You get me? And stay there trying to play uh, with wax dollies and trying to stick pins into people, you nasty witch. You understand what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind if you if you really knew the game, because you know what? There's a reason tonight, my people, why I, there's a reason tonight. In fact, before we begin, I'm glad I remembered, actually. As I say, I don't, I don't need makeup and props and scripts and edits. I don't. I speak from the heart to my people. That's what I do. But let us um, look at the title of the life tonight because i've named it after a bible scripture yes indeed i have and we're going to go through it i've got it up here um i could read it out and i did get a screenshot which is what i really wanted to do but let's just uh, share the page and let's read it together yeah let's do that let's kind of go outside the box tonight shall we i feel like some of them are getting back in you know because their numbers are climbing i feel like they're, they're trying to get back in with different profiles do your thing in it right let me share this because it's after second corinthians second corinthians uh two through to twelve i believe that's what i call this live tonight because these people seem to think that we return fire through screenshots and fake accounts and foolishness yes we will avail ourselves to the resources of this world in order to snare you such as the police for what good they're worth Yes, we'll do that. But that's not the way we fight. We don't fight with nastiness. You better know us on this platform. And when I say us, I don't just mean me. I'm talking about the, the women who surround me, the brothers who surround me. Yeah, let's get back to originals on this platform because this platform started with prayer. And all the way through, that's that's been what has underpinned much of what we do. Who do these people think they're dealing with? Jano. Let's have a look at it, people. Have a look at it. Let me just uh, stop my camera a minute there. Hmm. Let's share this screen. Do they, they know what they're dealing with? I've told them already. I'm focused now. I'm on my knees. Let's see how much Aoife and Dotty Crass's obya you people can actually fling in order to defeat us. Second Corinthians from two. But I beseech you, and I've done it in the new, uh, no, actually, I've done it in the King James Version, which is my favourite, but let's do it in something that is more palatable, that more people understand, modern language, shall we? Because uh, not everybody really understands the nuances of the King James Version. And that's not to say that we believe entirely in it. We're New Age Christians. We know our Jesus was the Ethiopian. We know they've messed with our team. Yeah, so don't ever get it twisted. Let's have it in this version. <coughs> because then we can make it plain. <clears throat> now, the top part I don't really hold with because I'm not meek. Yeah, come on, people. I'm not meek. Uh, so we're not going to go through that. Let's run it through from about two. I beg you that when I come, I may not have to be as bold as I expect to be towards some people who think that we live by the standards of this world. Let me repeat that. I beg you that when I come, I may not have to be as bold as I expect to be towards some people who think that we live by the standards of this world. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, 
They have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedience to Yeshua the Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. Hey, let who have eyes, let who have eyes see and let who have ears hear. Yeah, you don't know what I'm dealing with. These people have no idea who they're dealing with or what they're dealing with. You understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Angor. Those of us who have been following for years know who we are. Absolutely. We've seen down worse than these idiot people about and telling a bag of lies, which I have so far not defended. It's not the first time they've told these lies on me. They keep cycling, recycling stuff because they've got no more in the bag. I want to know what else you're going to do. And if you try to kill me, I've got a bag, of, a bag of people behind me, family that you people have never even seen and cannot trace that will be up in here to take this space, including those of ranks among my, amongst my children. How dare you? think that you can come for my children. In the four years that I've been doing this thing, their identities have never been revealed. We don't reveal the identities of, of the perpetrator's children unless those children put themselves on that page. You understand? We don't pursue that. We don't step into what is uh, holy. We don't bully people. But anyway, let's, let, let's take a little trip down memory lane. Let's get back to Afrobelly with her uh, aging self and she don't even catch 40 good. Let's get back to that. If you think that you can come and even chat to me and put up memes about you ugly mug and whatever, let's compare it like for like, because I'm a bigger woman than you. I'm in the aging process. And at 55, I know I ain't doing too bad. I don't want to see you at 55. Yeah. I don't know what you're going to shovel on your face then when you reach my age. But if at your age, you look so swarty and breast big like a 10 pitney you have. You understand what I'm saying? Swarty skin ashen with the amount of makeup it has to lay on its face to be able to face the public. Simia, lipstick alone, me wear unless I'm going somewhere. 55 skin smooth and natural. Don't chat to me. Yeah, do not chat to me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to share something with you. It's going to kill two birds with one stone. Let's compare like for like what I look like at her age and what she looks like now. And let's compare. Uh, the fact that Claire Kennedy was saying that I'm not in a group. I did not tour the world with a group called Slovo or any of it. So I'm going to share something with you guys down the memory lane. Take a look at this. I'm having fun tonight, actually. Uh, I think it's running a bit slow tonight, guys. Give me time. Give me time. All right, not sure what's happening here. Hold on a second. Hold on, people. Oh, what's going on there? Right. Here we go. One second, guys. All right. I'm not sure what's happening here. It looks as if, ah, I know what's gone on. It's gone back on itself. <laughs> One second, people. Told you there'd be some uh, technical hitches tonight, and my machines are mad slow. Every so often in our area, we end up with, uh... one second. Right, every so often in our area, we end up with really slow Wi-Fi. That's what kind of goes down for us. So let me just bear with me. My machines are running mad slow because of the Wi-Fi tonight. It's okay, though you're mistaken. Looking for love amongst the fragments of shattered human pottery. Gravitating towards empty bottomless vessels. Locking yourself in with the rabid dog that is popular dogma. That it deflowers. It's... 
It's okay, though you're mistaken. Looking for love amongst the fragments of shattered human pottery. Gravitating towards empty bottomless vessels. Locking yourself in with the rabid dog that is popular dogma. That it deflowers, devours you calls it nothing anybody with good common sense would take seriously. Scars you from the inside out, then unabashedly prostrates your well-oiled non-fiction for all the world to strip your bones and suck out the regenerative marrow in a friendly kind of way. Either you have forgotten or you have never known your original purpose. Roots reach to the angelic, Beauty shines in the eyes of those that behold pure souls. The eyes skim only the surface of the treasure. The real gold lies buried deep within the chest. You can make it back to peace. Even though you feel the world never will, but still, I said you can make it back to peace. Looking for love in all the wrong places In too many faces, in deep pockets In fat bank accounts, in those with careers You can sit aces But that's what got you exactly in the hole you're rotting in now With every fibre of your being You yearn for that warm, fuzzy feeling Yet once you find it Your reasoning becomes suspended You can't comprehend it you hold it at bay, arm's length a while before destroying it. This is the flaw, the human scar, but scars can be healed. You can make it back to peace. Monsters can be demystified and seen as the little naughty nothings they truly are. The prize isn't far. Though every path leading there is different. I guess I'll meet you there. Love is attainable and sustainable you can make it back to peace you can make it back to peace you can make it back to peace is me in my 30s yeah we always turned up authentic that's what it is we didn't need a bag of things pan with ed and a bag of paint on our faces yeah <laughs> we didn't need that in our 30s my girl we did not need that at all we were presenting and turning up authentic from them time there so let's let that's a little trick down memory lane. No, it wasn't my daughter, just me, Fifi. That's me, but we do favor. She looks a lot like me when when, when I was younger, you know. Let me let me come check me uh in 10 years or whatever it is when you're my age and I'm in my 60s. Then we'll compare like for like. How dare you call me ugly? Look at the state here. You look like something the cat dragged in, as we say in England. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that in incessant, it, I can't deal with it, yeah. I really, really can't. Go sit down because you're not ready for this. That's the bottom line. And we know you're not ready for this because you've got no receipts, no uh, people from my life, namely the ones that from your life, your friends that contacted me. I see one little dirty girl on her page, one coolie thing that was in jail with me, who claims what she claims. You better come show up yourself on here, you know, Trinity, because you're too lie. And you were lie from in the jail. And we used to save you, me and a woman named Christine used to vanguard you because we could see you were vulnerable. You understand? Don't go on Afro Betty's page and tell no lie upon me. Come on here and tell that lie on me, Trinity, because you know who you are. You're out of order. That's the only person I've seen from who could you could say was from my life, and definitely we were not friends. This girl was a real case at the time. But I never used to like the way they treated her in jail and whatever, from the screws to the people, then the prisoners. So me and this older woman used to take her and try to pray for her and tell her must clean up her room and tidy herself because she stank, you understand me? And she was always begging people for stuff. So we used to try to bring that girl in for you to turn around your wicked trinity because you know that I was good to you. You're alter order to say that. I've never done you nothing in my life. Come on this live, if it's not like you're telling, and face me. That's all I ask, you know? Unbelievable people anyway, ciao.
Those are the type of people that she got trying to agree with her. Other than that, she agrees with her damn self. Unbelievable. So the other thing is as well, uh, I saw it this week, actually, and they're saying, oh, how could you be mourning your brother and you weren't on our page? How did you see our stuff? Don't you not know that we got spies on your page? I don't need to be on your page to see your stuff. It gets sent to me in screenshots and screen recordings. Oh, oh. fool, fool people then. If anyone knows Trinity from Brixton, fling up her hand because she is quite well known in Brixton, that girl. I was in uh, East Sutton Park with her and I think I was in Downby. I think she was there. I can't remember. But she was definitely in East Sutton Park. You know? Yeah, we'll deal with Afro Belly tonight. Look like that in your 30s and then come chat to me. Okay? Talent and natural beauty. That's what it is. Stupid girl. Not trying to be someone else. Not trying to be a yogi. Not being so insecure in yourself that you can't come face the public as you are. Do me a favour. Frighten if you see that I'm on in time. I'm going to frighten. What else we got in the bag down memory lane? Oh, yeah, activism. Let's start with uh, a recent thing. And although I can't find any historic things because they're really not on the internet, uh, I am going to show you something that will bear witness to my longevity because they tried to drag the Black Awards. That's what it was for me. Oh, Afur is not well known. You know, trying to disparage what uh, Sister came on last week and said uh, and was bearing witness to, trying to disparage it. But the next person who's going to bear witness, let's see if they disparage him. That's that's what it is. All right. Uh, but before we go to that, I'm just going to give you a bit of the flavor and the fire for those of you that don't see and don't know. Uh, yeah, I am a spoken word artist and I am very well known. I was very well known, should I say, in those realms back in my day. You know uh, what I showed you then from my time with the band in Slovo was in my 30s. I've been doing that from in my teens and toured with reggae artists and all kinds of different people, had different styles. I could jump in and jump in with a white indie band like that and still bring a flavor, as much as my roots are somewhere else. You understand? Not a lot of people can do that. Killer P can do that. He can, he can rock any audience. And I'm bigging up the brother right here, and I love the brother's journey right now. Let's blow up the world in her face about you trying to bring down the good, good, clean brother, and the wicked, and all those around you that try it as well. You know what I mean? Wicked and alter order. Jassy and no. Uh, some of you may have seen this before. It's definitely done the rounds. It's from my days of FF. But let's just reel it and pull it backwards. And then we'll go into something else. Can't okay, bother with them. We don't die. We don't die. Yeah? And I'm going to leave you with these words. Because we're leaving fast tonight. I'm going to say that I take my freedom. Lest I die. So pride runs through my veins and principles support me so that I with lifted head see liberty, not sky. For I am she who dares to say, I shall be free or dead That's the sign of sign And you see, that's the kind of spirit they don't get. You lot don't have that spirit. You're a bunch of cowards. That's why you came and broke my window when I was in Jamaica. Do you understand? If I was if I was on your side of things, thinking and acting the way you act, I would be about it. I would turn up when you were there because the window wouldn't be enough for me. You understand me? You bunch of idiots, man. Idiots. Not one of them can step to me. That's why not one of them come on this live. Jump on their live. Jump on it. And come and reason with me. Because as much, even if it was protagonists and dirty lots, I wouldn't be rude to them on this live. You guys know how I do it. Let's have a reasoning in. And I will done you. That's what it is. Because none of you lot can't step to me. Not one. Not one. That's why you do things in the dark. That's why you slip in between the cracks like the rats that you truly are. Yes, I'm burning the fire tonight. You know how much people have told me I need to be burning the fire on these people? And I, I leave it for what it is. You understand what I'm saying? I just leave it because we've got work to do, you know, but let's take it back. And I'm going to go back to Afra Belly and her claims that uh, I'm I'm supposed to be doing. I had done something with what's his face, uh, 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 Milton McGowan, um, or I had some sort of romantic inclination or whatever it is she was saying. You know, foolishness, a bag of stupidness, honestly. What else have I got in the bag tonight? In fact, let's look at how I, I got into Forever Family. Let's look at the Battle of Trafalgar. 
um, and what I did there, because I certainly wasn't passive. Let's look at, you know, what my part was. And you can see little bits of it. You can see me kind of running and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and find bits of it because it's quite long. And let's see if we can take that down memory lane as well. Uh, I'm not an activist. Don't come for my credentials. Do not try to come and sully my name. Do not do it about receipts. And when I want to bring a highbrow uh, Eurocentric argument, I do. And when I want to talk down and dirty, and when I want to cast Bumba Clark, I do. That is my authenticity. That's always who I've been. I'm sitting here as myself. Leave I'm going. I'm in a mood for these people tonight, my sister. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get um, the decoy on tonight as well, because that's another myth that I want to dispel, that that's my voice and I'm lying about a decoy. You guys can compare the voice if you want, voice for voice. We could hear that live. We can do that. Um, but I'm not sure because I know sister's busy tonight. So let's see. Let us see if that happens. I certainly hope it does. What else we got in the bag for tonight for these fools? I will not. And I promise you guys, we are getting back to what we do and love as of next week. Yeah, as of next week. Uh, just for me, Fifi, blessed love for that. That is now £85, I think, isn't it? What would you get? 56, 70. That's now £80 in the bag for this year's March. Fantastic. We can do a lot with that. Yeah, we can definitely get the word out there with that. So thank you for that, my sister. I forgot to mention that. Um, what else have I got here? Let me share the screen again. Let me share the screen again. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you because... Uh, for those of you that might remember, I was I visited this kind of story in a different context before, and I was trying to find the clip and I couldn't. And it was the the lovely brother Shakara from Got Kush TV who actually said, "No, it's there, you know, sis. You just weren't looking in the right place, and this is where it is." So I've now found it. Blessed love, Shakara. You know, you're a true soldier, a real one. And uh, he led me to it at that time. You know, after that live. <laughs> Dash your fire for fire pan teeth in belly. Yeah, man, she forget lava splashiest. But right now, the only thing she's trying to teeth is my name by trying to put trying to buck the algorithm by naming all of her videos my name so that when you search, it goes to her and she thinks she can grow her followers from there and monetize off of me. Why don't you go and study and get a real job, dirty girl? Are you a sell pum pum roller backward? You need to. I can support my family. And I can live in the world and jump out of it. How about that? I've lived in Africa. What have you done? Silly cow. Anyhow. Yeah, let's have a look up, look, uh, look at the Battle of Trafalgar and what led, uh, what led to, um, uh, they're back in. Oh, God. And Dutty Kwame, like, we don't know you're leading the charge in enough respects. We're not stupid out here. Kwame, hey, say nothing. Right, let's look at the Battle of Trafalgar. I really like watching this, actually. It's a really pivotal moment. I'm going to take it back, so sit tight, and we're going to kind of see the lead-up to certain things, all right? And I certainly have all rights to play this, courtesy of Got Kosh TV and uh, Brother Shaka Ra. All right, here we go. Give you a bit of context, people, otherwise, it makes no real sense. Oh, I hate the ads on YouTube, honestly. What the hell is this? Come on, come on. 
Let the police do their job. Let the police do their job. Yes? Go back, go back. Go back. Go back. An explosion. Few knew exactly what it was at first, but eventually we began to realize that fireworks were being hurled at the peaceful protesters as another group of thugs began to attack from another angle. What is this? Having attacked from two angles, they attempted a third, and we began to realize the actual numbers of them that had come from wherever they were to attack those in the midst of a peaceful demonstration. <laughs> That's me guys in the green all in one right there with the mask on my face, right on the front row. Play War Thunder now. Join millions of players across the globe in massive battles on tanks, aircraft, and
peaceful protesters regrouped once again, ready to defend ourselves if necessary. Hold the line! You fucking pussy! They should have never been able to come this far. But the police allowed them to come this far. We are a public people. We must, we must not be taken by the mandate because they're idiots. We are not idiots. We are kings. We are kings. We are kings. And we look after our queens and look after our family. So when you hear the excitement, let's all together. Together, we are the black men present put out the call for the men to form a circle around the black women present in order to protect them from another possible onslaught. But one black woman put out a different call. <laughs> of raiments could never walk in our shoes. You think them people could take that kind of heat? Huh? Do you think them people could take that kind of heat? And then the man them are telling us, all the sisters get in the middle and let the man them form a ring around us. Are you crazy? You understand? We didn't have our children with us. Run to higher ground and let's do this together. Sisters be fighting like the spirit of Mama Africa. You people can never step to me and tell me about activism, tell me about fearlessness, and tell me about the love of God. Nana Uno. Remember that. Yeah? Remember that. This thing's coming from far. And certainly while Afrobelly uh, didn't even get a period yet, we've been doing this thing. You understand? Let me show you lots some more. Uh, there's something that predates that that I found actually the other day. That was kind of dread. Let's see if I can find it.
come around and join us. We have to change our lives. Time is now serious. Amen to that. I want to um, give the last brother that spoke um, big props for mentioning the rules of Jericho because it's a biblical term, but it can be used as a generic term. And it is the walls of Jericho that we need to be bringing down in this fight. This thing is historical and it's biblical and it's economical and it's from so many different facets and threads, you know? There are so many voices, or should I say sub voices, that come and rise out of the voice of racism or out of the struggle of racism. The movement of, uh, of, the, of, of, of female liberation was born out of the movement of racism. The struggle of African peoples, uh, the last voice, the last genocidal voice that has not been heard, that has not been paid reparations, yeah? That is the last voice. The Jews have been paid reparations. The African Holocaust is not even called the Holocaust, yeah? The blood of our brothers and our sisters are still being shed on these streets. I remember standing here 20 years ago when it wasn't even called Windrush Square, when it was called Jurassic Park because there was so much crap being smoked out here, yeah? When Brixton didn't matter. I remember standing here then, marching and campaigning. And you know, I'm looking around me and I'm saying, this is, this is new blood. This is what I thought wouldn't happen because we we went to sleep for a while and since Brexit, the, the, the skinheads who grew hair and took jobs down in Canary Wharf and down into the, the square mile up in Cheapside and wherever at the banks, they've now decided to rise again. And the brothers write what he said earlier about white people standing with us, not against us, not saying what I've been hearing on LBC all morning. Well, what does it matter? It's 5,000 miles away. Why are they jumping on the bandwagon? Do you know why? Because we belong to the, a diaspora of black people that came 500 years ago from Africa as kidnapped slaves and sometimes traded slaves to all over the world, whether it's in America, Brazil, England, the Caribbean, we belong to a diaspora of people and we are suffering through that unification. I'm the mother of four children, one of which is a young black male, okay, 21 years old. The amount of times that he's has been stopped. You cannot tell me it does not concern me. I am also an auntie to a 28 year old black American male who lives there and is born there and grown there and has never done anything but go five in his back. Yeah, that is why it matters. And yes, black Black lives do lack matter. I want to hear it louder from the crowd. Do black lives matter? Every life matters. Every life matters is the point that I'm trying to make. Every life matters. But right now we are focusing on black lives because nobody else is facing that level of bloodshed at the hands of racist police officers. It may well, it may well. It may well be 14 in a year over here and 100 and whatever in, in a year over there. But are we saying that there's a hierarchy in murder? Are we saying it matters about the numbers? It is the motive and the intent and where it is coming from that we are concerned about. Now, I remember 1995, a name that is quite obscure and hasn't been mentioned in terms of racist killings. Donna O'Dwyer. Does anybody remember Sister Donna, who died in, in Oliver Close in 1990? The representative turned up in commando gear and threw a Molotov cocktail into a party in racist East London. She tried to escape from a balcony, from the, the toxic smoke that had gone into the party. And in her struggle to climb from one balcony to the next, 13 floors up, she fell to her death, okay? The police covered that up. And it took one and a half years until the man who was guilty of that, his wife could not live with the deal anymore. And she turned him in. These are the things, it's racist killings. I remember, you know, Mr. Douglas up the road there at Brixton Police Station, just up the road here, Jeb Avenue, Admiral Jeb of the British Army, rich on slavery, 
disproportionately housing black men for all sorts of things and the atrocities that go on in there i know because i've worked there i want to end by giving god the glory because right now it is the walls of jericho coming down and this is going coming back from not just slavery but it is written in prophecy that they would divide nations against nation and we have to stand together it is the same oppressor that put jesus on the cross it is the same oppressor that took us into slavery it's the same regime and the oppressor that is working in palestine and oppressing those brothers and sisters out there it's the same oppressor so let's stand together and break down the walls of Jericho. can i end my brother with a tribute that i wrote in 1995 to sister donna at a time when i thought it was really about black against white so forgive me for some of the rhetoric but it isn't a bit about black against white and the poem goes like this i hear the sounds of african beats float out across the streets of an urban jungle somewhere deep within the struggle plantations reminiscing those painful times gone by escaping through our music i guess it's do or die no change since those days no change no change no change party ready now brothers sharp smooth and swinging sisters rocking with the rhythm it's the curry go i'm smelling no need to be in him in here there is no schism it's party time everybody unify if only for a while the anthem comes up, a song from Bob or Buju, could be Gregory I, whichever of the prophets, my soul, I can't be not denied. God bless people, God bless, God bless, God bless, but there is evil at the front door. Not those regular ones in blue, a different kind of demon wrapped in white flesh, his mindset was not new. Nitrate firebomb in one hand, his Uzi in the other, his task to kill a mother, a system foot soldier working overtime, attacking me and mine. What is happening? What is happening? Prophecy fulfilling. Pandemonium breaks the darkness, hellfire the light of day. Blue eyes pierce the smoke, her sister tries to get away. Come to a 13th floor balcony, there is silence as she falls. Not to her death, but a place with the ancestors, her baby's name she calls. What is left now? A nine-year-old warrior laments the murder of his mother. Kill one, create another. Shh, sleep sweet, my brave baby brother. Remember Donna, for she will be avenged. Time is drawing near, beloved. We're coming to the end. What will you do now when this child becomes a man? What will you do, Elizabeth Windsor, with this angry African? Yeah, yeah. Your Majesty's pleasure, perhaps. Effering Brixton or Feltham's Albatross, a luxurious suite in your mental concentration camp, may be a double dose of liquid kosh. Sister sleeps. And I can't remember the rest. I wrote it 20 years ago. Thank you very much. Fire, 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 fire. Look at us. Look at us. Look at how we want to express. Look at us. You've got so much to say, seriously. This is just the beginning. As long as you push it, as long as you... That's who I am, people. That's who I am. I'm a poetess. I'm, in fact, I used to call myself a politician. That's what I used to call myself back then, a politician. You understand me? And that's in the last half, what you guys just saw. I've been doing this my entire life. Enough of you people feel set. It started with his time is up. No, it did not. And don't try to discredit the Black Awards because they were around to see what I was doing over the last 30 years. You people are Johnny come lately's hurry come up, just come late to the dance. You know them type of people come late to the dance and feel they can, they can put in a forward uh, or try to bring down the dance because it ain't to their liking and a just reach. Tap in eyes and a just reach. And not one of you can step in my shoes. We don't sit down on social media. This is not what it is for me. This is why when they're saying clout, social media, that's not my roots. I just use this now because, well, we're not really getting together and putting it down on the floor anymore. And I'm about to start to bring that, that tradition back. Do you understand what I'm saying? But if you're going to deny what uh, Sister from the Black Awards was saying, then let's see what one of the greatest icons from that era that has lasted the test of time has to say about me. Yeah, let's see. And I'm talking about a brother. I'm talking about a brother that has been a pinnacle cornerstone of the Afrocentric black freedom fighter movement in this country. A brother that used to dominate 
uh, speaker's corner. You know, that some of them like Ari come up, feel so they, they came and created it and invented it. Not so. We used to be down there before 7 7. Yeah? Enough of these little children feel they can come and step to the big people because they don't see where we're coming from, because it ain't on social media, because you can't find it in a Google search. Go sit down, get some harlicks and hard dough bread and go in the bed. That's when if we do. Joke team. Right, let's see. One more, one more, guys. One more, one more, one more. <laughs> one more. Get some hard dough bread and harlicks and go in the bed. <laughs> Go to bed. I'm sick of the charlatans, you know, people. And I'm going to visit something in a minute, actually. As I said, Harlix and Hardo Bread, I actually didn't mean the pun. And it's going to become relevant what I'm saying in a minute. I actually didn't mean that. I meant really people of my generation sat down and had uh, Hardo Bread and Horlix before we went to our bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you were in your dressing gown, it was like that in the old school days. This was a, a ritual, a routine. And that's what they need to go and do. Put on their night clothes, go tidy. And then get your Horlicks and your hard dough bread and go on a bed. That's what they need to do. Any, anybody of a certain era will know what I'm talking about. But this pertains to another issue, which I'm going to move to in a minute. The Horlicks and hard dough bread thing. I'm sick of the charlatans and the haters. What else we got in the bag? What else we got in the bag? Oh, yeah. Let's see what brother says about um, me. Because that's, you know what? I don't want to hear from you, hurry come ladies, about what I did and did not do. Yeah. I want to hear from the people who were there who was there to witness what I did and did not do. You understand? Ovaltine and hard dough bread or, or Horlicks. You remember it, my sister, Nads G, you don't know. <laughs> right, let me share again, people. And credit to Street Mike. You don't know my brother um, for the credits of this. This is uh, Sasha Johnson Day, which is fairly recently, 2023. This is more recent. Um, but it's, listen to what brother Leo Mohammed has to say. And let's see these dirty bungle try and go after one of our icons, which is brother Leo Mohammed. Yeah, that is an icon right there. Let's see them try and go after him for bearing witness. As my father would say, a bunch of kunamunu uno. for many, many years, and this sister has been an activist and worn many, many in our community, working hard on behalf of our people, and she wants to share with us today some words in support of this event and our dear sister, Sasha Johnson. So without further ado, please... Once again, put your hands together and welcome to the platform, our sister, Sister Afua. Blessed love. Blessed love. This sea of melanin, though. Look at it. Look at you. Look at you. People of the sun. Like Brother Leo said, you know, we've walked together. I remember the edutainment tours back in the 90s. When we used to lock down the neighborhoods and lock down places like Hackney Empire, you know, all speaking truth. This brother was a pioneer, one of the first brothers to bring that concept to the community of edutainment, where you entertained through not only rhythm and speech, but also truth, you know. And that's what our sister represented. Before we even begin, I want everyone to get their mobile phones out for me. Get your mobile phones out, everyone. Come on, we've all got them. Everyone get your mobile phone out. On the back line there, brother with the glasses, brother with the hat, get
Get your mobile phones out. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's have an en masse effort to scan that QR code. I don't know if we can hold the picture on the QR code. Can that happen? Is there a way to do it? Yeah, it's on the flyers as well if you've got one. And I want everyone to make a joint effort. You know, the Christians have got a thing that they call body ministry. I don't know if you've heard of that. Where's the Christians in the house? You guys know about body ministry when they lay on hands, when they touch, one person touches the next person, the next person, the next person, until you get to the afflicted individual. We can do that in the spirit. And I want us all to focus our energy on Sasha. We need to send her some healing vibes. We can't put this outside the hospital window, which is what I would have liked, because I'm about that kind of proaction. I would have bought this right outside the window so she can hear it and feel it. Everybody knows that when you have a brain injury, when you're in the condition that she's in, that you need that stimulation. You need to hear from your people. You need to feel the vibes. Alive? Right, right. You need to feel the vibes. So we're going to send that to her. Get your mobile phones out and scan the QR code. There is no reason why our sister should be wanting for anything in this community that she stood up for. There's no reason whatsoever. We have failed her as a people, and I include myself in that. You know, I had the opportunity to meet Sasha for a mutual friend. And because of, I wasn't in the country. It was during the pandemic. I was in Tanzania, and I had been fed negative uh, information about the sister. You understand? You only got to say, especially where I'm coming from, uh, people like Brother Leo is coming from, you only got to say agent to us once. And we're already on cock. So somebody said that, they dropped that into my psyche, and I turned the other way. And I am eternally, eternally regretful of that. Because this sister here was our protege. This sister here represented what only comes once in a generation, and she stood up for her generation. And we failed her. We failed her. We should have vanguarded that sister with our lives. Those of us that saw what was in her, and I've got to say it, Brother Leo, had it been in our time, that sister would have been flanked from the north, the south, the east, and the west. She would have been flanked. But times have changed. You know, this country has a way of suppressing any kind of revolutionary spirit. Yeah? It happens all over the world. In America, we see it especially. In Africa, we've seen that. Brother mentioned some great leaders earlier on. He mentioned Patrick Lumumba, you know, people like uh, Joseph Nyerere, who actually is, we don't mention him enough, of Tanzania, founding father. Joseph Kenyatta. These were the greats, the Mau Mau revolution, the movements that inspired us generations later. This sister embodied and encapsulated every part of that. And we failed her. We failed her. So today we stand up for her. There should, this place should be cock. This place should be cock. If this was Bujabantan or somebody else, not that I'm, I've got anything against Bujo, I actually like him very much. But if it was a reggae artist, if it was a rap artist, even an Afrobeat artist, this place would be cock. Because like we did on the plantation, the only thing that we're really good at as a people is the butt dance, is to whine and grind and butt dance. Yes, we are a people of music. We come from the lines of music, through the lineage of King David and King Solomon, the original musicians. We come from that lineage. But we need to start to make our praises more manifest and more, and more relevant to our cause. There's no point bumping and grinding. It's not getting us anywhere. Yeah? This was a young sister who is the same age as my son, who's going to be 28 next week. The same age. Every mother, every mother that feels the pain of her children needs to stand up for this little sister here. Can you imagine? I can't imagine. You know, there was a time when my son was going astray, when he was uh, joining gangs and all the rest of it. And I did not sleep at night for fear of something like this, you know. Brother Leo made a great point, and I'm glad you said it, brother, because we need to address the elephant in the room. There are some activists even in this country that don't believe that the counterintelligence program that is 
designed to kill the rising stars in our community, they don't believe it operates in this country. And I can tell you as a recipient of that, as somebody that has been scrutinized by the powers that be, that has been surveilled by the powers that be, yes, it does exist. And the first thing that I thought of all those miles away in Tanzania when I heard of Sister's Misfortune was that. It was too convenient. It was too timely. And what they always do, like Brother says, they use an agent within our community to enact what it is that they want to be the outcome. We saw it with Brother Malcolm. We've seen it time and time again. They have different methods. And we need to understand that, you know that old Jamaican saying, to dear family, to my It can be any one of our children. It can be any one of us. That sister represented a threat to the system more than me or you, Leo. You know why? She did what Dr. Martin Luther King had set out to do, and that was to bring all the people together. And that is when you become the biggest threat to these people. They don't care if we want to try to galvanize our own people. They know that's a joke. They know that it's going to be uh, beset with infighting and all the things that we normally bring ourselves down with. They're not interested anymore. But you see, if you have the ability to draw everybody together like this sister did, that is when you become a target for the system. And brother's right, she was a target. We need to dig deep in our pockets. We need to take that GoFundMe from 14,000 to the 20,000 mark that it, it was originally intended and beyond. We need to do it. Everyone get your mobile phones out and scan that QR code. I want to see it. I'm not leaving this stage until we do it. Come on, guys. Let's do it. My phone's in filming at the moment, and I've already donated. I want us to get our mobile phones out. Everyone on the side here. Okay, thank you, my brother. Come on, guys. Let's do it. We can do it for Sasha. We say that we care, but let's see the proactivity. Let's get our mobile phones out. You guys at the back. Rasta colors. Sitting down. Let's get our mobile phones out. Everybody on the back line here and scan that QR code. We need to raise it. Imagine when sister is at a certain point. Imagine if our money can get her the kind of rehabilitation that she needs, that she can join us back on this struggle. She's a baby for some of us here. I see nothing but elders. And I'm an elder myself. I see nothing but elders. She is our daughter, and it takes a village to raise this child. Guys, I want everyone to join hands. Join hands with your neighbor for me. Join hands with your neighbor. Come on, don't be shy, people. When time it comes to rub up a girl in a dance and all right. Come on. <laughs> everyone hold hands. Don't be shy. Come on. Sister, there's a brother next to you. There it is. Let's all hold hands. Come on. We're going to send some energy, some healing energy to Sister Sasha right now. Guys, right, come on, that's it. I can see you guys here. You got it, you got it. Yes, that's nice. And you bad man at the back, let's have it. <laughs> let's have it, I know you're working. Everyone join hands. And everyone say, heal Sasha. Heal Sasha. Heal Sasha. Heal Sasha. Heal Sasha. Really focus, focus on her face. Close your eyes. Set, take the energy from your neighbor and give the energy back to your neighbor. And everyone repeat after me, after three. One, two, three. Heal Sasha. Heal Sasha. Heal Sasha. Heal Sasha. I know she's going to feel that energy. And I am certain because I know the power of the most high living God that I serve, that we serve. I know the power of the father. I know the f p power of the mother spirit. I know the power of the African energy. And I'm telling you, I'm standing here today. And like my Jamaican mother used to say, I can't find nothing to do it. I'm going to mark it 10. You know them where they? I'm going to mark it 10. That, that girl, that sister, that daughter will be standing here with us this time next year. Bearing witness. I promise you, because we know the faith. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we have failed her and we need to stand up for her from this point onwards. I myself am invested. I feel robbed. 
because of the negative stereotypes and the negative energy and information that was coming in. And we shouldn't have to be here, stood up here, asking people, poor people, to dig in their pockets when sister represented within an organization that has money. I'm going to talk it like it is. TTIP, shame on you. Shame on you, TTIP. Shame on you. Where are you today? Sister Re risked her life. She risked her liberty. She left her children to represent for you. Where are they? I can't see a single representative. Shame on you. Shame on you. And I ain't afraid to say it. Right about now, we need to start patterning up as a, as a community. Because as I said, today for you, tomorrow for me. It ain't nothing. I should not have to be standing here because of my campaign, representing for this young sister and wearing a bulletproof vest. I don't like it. I've got on a bulletproof vest. Why? Because the things that I raise in the community is such a threat to our own community. We are our own worst enemies, people. We talk about counterintelligence. We talk about agents, but they can't do that without the betrayal of our own people. They would not be successful. So today we raise up the name of Sasha Johnson. We raise up her spirit. We send her healing energy. And we say, never again shall we allow something like this to happen to one of our young Mujahids, as they say in the Arabic language. Our young soldier, she was a Mujahid of the highest order. She is a Mujahid of the highest order. And I, for one, know that if I ever get a chance, I will vanguard that little sister under my wing because she does need that guidance. Blessed love, people. I want to end with a few words. Um, some of you may or may not know, but I... Sorry, guys, I was going to end it there, but I actually um, I'm not going to end it there. So let's let's go again. I'm not really good at these touchback things. I usually go too far back. Yes, I think I have. Her life, her liberty. She left her children to represent for you. Where are they? It's fitting, it's relevant, it's, it's timeless. From understand to overstand, and to overstand is wisdom. Long time we've been fighting this Babylon shit stim. Not just the word of Afua. <laughs> a long time we have suffer. A time we find a leader and be true with foot shuffler. Are you listening to me, brother? Big up our black sister. Now we are upon the hour we all have to follow the nature of creator. Give thanks to the mother. The other half is father. Put the two of them together. You come upon creator, also known as Jaja. Our Muslims call him Allah. The essence of Amunra. The secrets in Medunetta interconnectedness political correctness socio-economic progress spiritual oneness bubbling on the niceness forever melanin concentrate that is what i vibrate talking that is innate knowledge is the power gate we don't swallow nigger bait reality is mind state oops it's nearly too late what you gonna do mate when they start to infiltrate, it's a sign of these serious times. I'm dealing with psychotic minds. We're vibing with a taster. Never reveal your back of structure. Research, look further if you think that you doubt her. Just another messenger as foretold in scripture. Searching for a brighter day. What did Bob Marley say? The sun shall not smite I by day. Ah. Or the moon by night. My brothers and sisters, one day we're going to have to fight for the free up of this universe let us not converse in situations adverse to the healing of the nation on oh, my pour out enough libation this generation activate pineal gland liberate the motherland chant down the devil man disrespect the evil plan lord up done weapon uh oh end of mic session peace <laughs> And there you have it. <laughs>
there you have it about I am not an activist and I just come with you and whatever. Then Brighty, people, I've had a good time tonight. It's really taking it out of the box. Um, something else I was going to really talk about tonight, and, and it's back kind of, if you cast your mind back, we mentioned Horlicks and Hardware Bread. Somebody said Milo as well. But before I go there, actually, I've seen Kim J's comments. Here, this year, one no. Look, look at this fool. Look at this fool. Hillary ain't saying this about you, though. He's the proper NOI. This guy is a lone wolf. That's why I know, Kim J, you're one of the little Uri come-ups that need to get your Milo and your Horlicks or Hardo bread and gut your bed. Brother Hillary came into prominence within the nation way after Brother uh, Leo. Brother Leo comes from the original camp, which is under Brother Ralph Daly from Angel Town days, before Brixton Mosque moved over to Hinton Road, yeah? And Brother Hillary, what was the other one? I heard you can't walk in the mosque <laughs> in the NOI in Brixton. They don't rate you. That's why we know you're a dirty troll. You're a fool, yeah? And I know that even Raspet couldn't lie when he will tell you that I was in a meeting with those people after the Vincent Ratting when I indicted them and I wiped the floor with Hillary. Dare you try to... Uh, not admit it, Hillary, because we have got it on tape, even though you tried to tell us we could not record. I have it. So don't, don't, he don't even talk. He does not come up, Hillary, because I wasn't happy about the fact that Hillary was uh, harboring Vincent Rapp within the Nation of Islam at Hinton Road and going on like he didn't know who he was when man's a Brixtonite himself. So shut up, Kim J. You know nothing of the business of the Nation of Islam or its history. Shut up. You understand me? These people, honestly about um he's the real NOI. You don't even know the history between that. You don't know exactly what happened and how Farrakhan got to bestow that on that brother there at Hinton Road. Shut your mouth. Anybody who's in the chat that knows the history of the Nation of Islam and everything Wagwan, yeah? Um, bear my witness. Bear my witness because it did not go the way this fool is talking about. She's been up in my comments recently, this Kim J, chatting the most doo-doo as usual. We know it's one of you, so you've slipped in. I forgot about you, actually. I should have blocked you as well. In fact, let me do that now. You'll have to come back on a new profile, whoever Kim J is. And it could be any one of them from Kwame to Protagonist to Dutty Lux to Hungry Belly. Could be actually any one of them. In fact, moderators, no, no, no. You can only time out. Let me block their backside out of here. Kim J. <laughs> Yeah, Kim J. I've gone too far down now, guys. I did not call her an agent, Kimmy J. Is that you as well? See what I'm saying? They've got several things in here. <laughs> Definitely didn't call her an agent. Absolute rubbish. Got the WhatsApp messages and the chats. Uh, to prove it. So anyone there tried to come with that and we'll definitely knock that out of the water. We already did, to be fair. I usually go down in the comments that much. I can't find Kim J now. I'll block you afterwards. I've, oh, there you are. Right, you're gone, Kim J. <laughs> and so will all your idiot comments, your lies, and you trying to agitate. Okay? Ban the user and delete their comments. There we go. See ya. I ain't suffering these people no more, man. They, they can't come up in here. I'm sorry. You know, we've got business to do. And as I said, as of next week, back to business. We're starting the campaign around uh, his time is up March 2024. But don't none of you people, and none of you people that don't know Afua, that might even support, I think it's important for you to see some sort of context and history and as how to, this thing started. Do you understand? I'm so fed up of these people that come against us. So let's move to Afro Belly before I even get to what I want to say. There was a poignant part in the Sasha Day video where I mentioned TTIP. Hold that thought, people, because I'm kind of going to get to that in a moment. You understand? I'm casting my net wide tonight, and I'm not taking any prisoners, actually. So Afro Belly. Let's take the first claim. Uh, and by next week, I'm hoping I can have the time and space um, because we are preparing court papers at the moment. So, you know, not everything is about this. Um, but yeah, when I find the time and the space, I can go through the historic amount of uh, Facebook Messenger messages. Uh, and I can go back to uh, Milton McGowan if I can find him when he first contacted me via Facebook Messenger while I was in Tanzania. And you guys can see, I wish phones could... Um, show up on this thing rather than screenshots 
because I feel that that's way more authentic, you know. But anyhow, screenshots will have to suffice, and I will do those screenshots, and I will show you the nature of the conversation. And I've done it before on here. I know I have. You understand? On some yesteryear live, a couple of years ago, when man was misbehaving himself before she came on. You understand what I'm saying? So hmm, about dirty lux. Dutty, he looked like he stink, huh? And the plus as well, the fact that the man is psychotic and clearly can't be coherent in any type of articulation whatsoever. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm a sapiosexual, hello. I am, you know what I mean? That comes first, the intellect, the conduct. Shut up, man. Are you a work and beg people, man? You understand? And I know Killer P's missus witness you doing it. So leave the man alone. Idiot, you didn't even know she was in the room listening to your foolishness, trying to flirt up with the man and whatever. And she held it cool because she's a soldier and she got nothing to be insecure about. You know what the truth is. You're a damn barefaced liar. And you're actually, I just think that you have a really serious personality disorder. That's that's what I believe. And I think you should get some help for it because no amount of bunning black candles is seeming to help you, is it? No amount of uh, pretending to be a yogi and speaking in yogi speak and psychobabble seems to be helping you. You're still sick. You're still twisted. You've still got a deep, deep insecurity when it comes on to your own self-concept and your own self-image. And that much is evident and clear from anybody who's got eyes to see it. You know, I sit here as myself, makeup less, boobless, <laughs> in my gym jams usually, doing my thing. And that's what you can't take. That's what it is. Jealousy, I kill them. Bad mind and jealousy, I kill them. Simple as that. And I'm thinking, you're young, do your thing, you know. You've got talents, you've got virtues of your own. Why do you want to be jealous of me? You're like, really? You could not step in my shoes. You couldn't. You could certainly couldn't take the pressure that these people have been trying to put on me right now and I just walk like a duck, like water off a duck's back and still present, still here, without the makeup, without the boobs. <laughs> this girl. Girl, I'm telling you now, if that chick saw me on the road somewhere bumped into me whatever i'm telling you now it would cross the street you think it could have stand up and deal with me or try trace me alter order that's why she can't come on here she tried jump on killer p's live when he was on instagram and try ball down the man do you understand what i'm saying but this one knows it can't jump on my live and face me i've invited her loads of times come on and substantiate your spurious claims you fool and, and, and it's just getting wilder and wilder with her. Do you understand me? Let me try and find some footage of, um, might be on my own channel, you know, because she claims that Milton McGowan was shouting at me at the march in 2022. People, proper one if you were there. Let me see who the faithfuls are in this thing tonight. Um, I know that a lot of them aren't here right now. Oh, maybe they are, actually. I don't know. Not everybody comments these days. But yeah. Put up a one if you were there at the Battle of, at, um, not the Battle of Trafalgar, at, his time is up March 2022. Put up a one if you were there. Yeah? Um, thank you. And you guys will remember what happened with Milton McGowan. True? All right. I think they might have taken that video down, you know, but I'm going to try and find it. I know it's Brown Sugarfall. Blessed love, sister. You've got really clear things on your page regarding that. Or is that the Vincent Rap March? Can't really remember. If I can't find it, I know someone's got it, send it to me on WhatsApp and I'll try and get it on. But you can clearly, 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 clearly see, yeah, that this fool is being put on by Milton McGowan. He done with me and I was at the corner of the stage, remember, this man is looking full on and she wants us to believe that he was actually after me. No, he, we had our team before you even come along. I already put him up on, on, the, on, on the live. I didn't even put his face up because we didn't know what he looked like until quite close to the march. And somehow, somewhere, through the spirit of the most high, through prayer, we were able to get a, a, a mugshot of him prior to the march. And I, I, it was literally days before because I remember emailing it to the police, yeah, so that they could look out for him because we knew he was going to turn up. He'd been, he'd been trolling enough to say that he would. Yeah, but it was you that first came on and called the man a sexual predator. I had him up as a uh, uh, a predator, not a predator, sorry, a pest, but yes, a predator in terms of stalking. And I made that very clear. He was stalking me on my page. He was stalking the women that came and shared their stories and jumping on, 
on a Saturday morning and terrorizing them in their chats or whatever. He was doing all this madness. Blessed love, brown sugar. I'll, I'll have a look for that in a second. Um, he was doing all this madness. So I outed him for his foolishness that he was going on with. It was horrible, actually. Uh, when she came on and told her story, which is a story we know, now doubt because of how she's gone on and the lies she's told on Killer P. When she first told her story, all right, uh, and we already know that she likes to play with video and screenshots and stuff like that. Um, I, I doubt, I don't necessarily with her, you know, doubt the full story, but the embellishments that go with the story, I doubt. And also the friend that she blamed. That wasn't kind of a part of what we were doing. She added that on in her own stuff and whatever and had, had some heat for it from Jamaica. But when you come on to the Kalai guy, I've, I feel like there ain't no smoke without fire with him. I, I kind of believe enough. But at the same time, I feel that she embellished that story, which is still lying, isn't it, at the end of the day? So anyhow, that's what I think. Right. She was on my all over the live. Oh, she was jumping on to comment when she wasn't even in the live. She was all over it. And I'm going to try and show you something right now. I believe I've got it up somewhere. Or have I? Hold on a minute, guys. Let's see if I can find it. Before she... Uh, before she actually came and performed on the stage, we were down at the police station. She came late. It was on the march from Windrush Square down to the police station that I saw her waving at me as we were coming past, I think, Brixton, Brixton train station or something. But we were, and she joined the march at that point. Yeah, she weren't there from the beginning. And she marched with us to Brixton police station. And I think I've got something somewhere. Yes, I do. I can share that with you guys. I think that, um, let me get it up, <laughs> this girl, honestly. So she says that she came just to, you know, I just came to perform. No, you didn't. You were all over it. You're a liar. You're a liar. And the reason that you're vexed with me now and you've gone into this mad psychotic overdrive is because I would not back you when it came to Killer P. And I did not make that public. It was when you started harassing people, I made the situation and the reasoning behind all, all of that public. And you've never stopped since. You're not well, you know. And when I say in that in that uh, in that piece of me in my thirties, when I look way better than you do in your thirties now, when I said that, I've got to have to dig. When I said that, you know, that 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 line that I say, you can make it back to peace, and you really can, you know, you really really can make it back to peace. We all can if we but try. But let me try and get this up, guys. And then we'll see if we can play it. Because I don't know what... It's still stupid. There's footage of you taking part and goading the man when Milton McGowan was shouting us, us down there. You'd already been on the live and, and introduced the concept of him being an actual rapist because I remember saying on the live to you, and I'm going to find it and play it next week. I remember saying on the live to you after you said what you said about him, well, I don't know about the rapist part. I don't know about that, is what I said. But I do know he's a stalker. It was only after he got wrestled to the ground at the march and challenged her for calling him a rapist. He was already challenging me for calling him a stalker, even at the beginning of the march. But on that stage, he was challenging her for what she had said about him on the lives and uh, goading him down at the police station as well. All right. That's what happened, people. She's a liar and she's a fantasist, actually, which is worse than a liar. Because fantasists, liars know they're lying. They're just, you know. A fantasist actually believed their madness. So she's a fantasist. She's far from a liar. She actually believes her madness. Um, let me try and get this up, guys. Try and bring this up now. It's taking forever. One moment, people. Right. Okay, let's share the screen. And this is her down at the police station before she even stepped on the stage to sing the cover songs that she was singing before that. Oh, where's it gone? Hang on. Right. See it here. All of the, you guys that were at the march, bear witness that this happened before 
we got to the stage because we always do that at the end when we go back to Windrush Square. We rally in Windrush Square and then we go on the march and we take it to certain places within that Brixton radius there. And then we march back to Windrush Square to rally again and it ends in performances. Just you was there from this time here. So slow tonight, my stuff, honestly. Sorry, guys, about that. But you can see what I've named it, Afro Belly Hypocrite. <laughs> That's what I've called the video. Hypocrite and layered. <laughs> Put the microphone on loudspeaker before. All right. <laughs> so I hope everyone can hear me. I'm clearly. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. The first of all, please, please give some strength to Afro Sorry, guys, my bad. Let me let me show that um, again, because you can see Well, you, you saw Vin, uh, Milton McGowan um, going in there. I don't need to show it again. And any of the videos that you want to see, especially um, Street Mike, Big Up Street Mike and Got Kush TV, Big Up Shakara, go to that, look back on the video, get them and make sure you guys subscribe to those channels and um, like, share and do that as well here, because I actually never really ask you guys and I'm told I'm supposed to, right? She too, bad mind SVPP. You're done, no, and whatever. And you can see that she doesn't really have any sort of crowd presence. Yeah? These are the things. I don't boast about what I do. But when it comes onto these people, I don't mind putting it in your face and bigging up my status. Not at all. Do you understand me? Not at all. I talk about what needs to be talked about. I don't often showcase my thing. But don't come for it. Don't try to mess with my footprint. Don't ever. Don't ever. You understand me? Don't ever do that. And I've got loads more that I could substantiate. But like the people them say, why should I be bothered, actually? Do you understand me? But when it comes on to my activism and that, those things are close to my heart. That's my life. Don't try to come for that. You can come for everything else. I don't have business. You can tell people I'm not a therapist. Do you really believe that I give a pig's ass about those things? When I was in university, those people couldn't manage me. They used to try and mark down my papers. Because when you look at my bibliograph, it's not saying what what they want to hear. It's not mentioning Gestalt. It's not mentioning uh, 
all of the other people, I can't even think of them right now, psychoanalysis, Freud, and the rest of them. It's not mentioning all these models. It's mentioning people like Dr. Mike Naeem Akbar, Dr. Joyce Ladner. It's mentioning all of the greats. You understand, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. And they tried to come for me on that in those early days because they didn't know who those people were. And once they verified that they were heads of faculties in America, that they were professors, and that they deserve to be in my bibli bibliograph, they had to mark my papers up. You think they could manage me? Once I started practicing, you think they could manage me? No, they couldn't manage me. Not in that space. And not, like I keep saying, all you Negroes in the space that's too frightened to challenge the manager or, 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 or the modern day massa, you, none of you can chat to me in the space. I know who I am. And if I wasn't who I say I am, why aren't there a load of professionals who have worked with me, who know me and know my face? Why is it when I walk into a service, they're going, oh, my God, I've, I've, I've been watching you. I know what you do. Why, why is all that happening then? Why aren't they coming in their droves? I've been working 30 odd years. Why aren't they coming in their droves to, to discredit my, my uh, professional credentials? All because you lot don't know my name and can't search right. And even if you did know my name, you would need my certificate number to be able to search. There is a thing called GDRP. Chat shit. These people, honestly, honestly, people. I thought you just love to chat about cleavage. No, I don't love to chat about cleavage. I chat about cleavage when cleavage keep pushing up its titty in my face. Curious case. Tell titty for start push up in on my face, and then I won't talk about cleavage. Bothered. So we know this is her, innit? You dirty girl. You are a hot mess. That's what you are. Crepe your tig off your face and cover yourself. You understand? Our people, our children, our girl children don't need that as a role model. You're a disgrace. And you've got a personality disorder and you need help of the highest order. That's what you need. You should be sectioned. Jackass. Don't know that's her. Oh, yeah, there we go. Jail. You know why I went to jail? Because I'm an activist. You understand? <laughs> That's what I am. And you can't take it. That's her. Jump on the live. I'm going to put the live out, people. In fact, I'm not yet. I've got other things to talk about. This ain't Afro Billy Fool. Of course it ain't. You're getting blocked as well. Because we are not entertaining your full fullness tonight. All right. See ya. <laughs> That's what I've got. Let's look at it on the stage. I'm going to find, try and find, find your channel, Brand Sugar Fool. Because I think it got taken down like way after the fact when I had it on my page and I can't find the actual video at the moment. So let me try and find this sister's page. Let's see if I can find it. See if I can find it. Uh, sis, let me have a look how I do this now. I'm not sure I can find it. Hmm. Let me see. Um, I might find it this way. Bear with me, people. You can never move to me. I bet when I put the, put the link out, these people don't jump on. And jump on as yourself. That's what you need to do. You will not get any respect here if you try to come on as a fake profile. That was a fake profile, people. Trust me. Joke, people. Jokes. I'm, I'm in the mood for it tonight, you see, and that's what it is. Other than that, I don't have time for this foolishness. Hold on a second. All right, let's see if it comes up that way. I hope so. No, it still isn't. Boy, sis, what is your actual... Um, what is your actual, I wonder if I could share Instagram because it's still on there, I think. What is your actual um, page, sis? Have a look here. See if I can find the sister. Then I can go to it that way, actually. That's why it's good to have two monitors. There we go. Ah, that's what it is. I'm putting you down wrong, to be fair, sis. I'm actually putting you down wrong. Oh, no, let's see. Let's we'll see. That's not the way I'm going to get to it. Blessed love, brown sugar full. I'm going to look for you again now. I don't know why I was putting it's brown sugar full. Is it brown sugar full that I'm supposed to be looking for, yeah? But when I put that in on its own, ah, I see what I'm doing here. I can see how it's written there. I see what I'm doing there. There's no R in the sugar. 
I can see what's going on there. Okay. Sugar, S-U-G-A. Let's see. This is a challenge now. Let's see if I can actually find it. I bet you I'll find it tonight. I don't know what's wrong with it. Ah, here we go. Right. That's it. Yeah, that's it right there. Right. Let me try and get to the actual part of it because you've got three hours here, sis. I think we need you to film the next one. And it's very clear as well. Hit me up, sis. I think we, we definitely need you to fill the next one because I normally do it on a selfie stick that's being carried by baby Afua. <laughs> right, let's not do that. I know it's going to be somewhere towards the end. Right, let's do this now. What a ting. I haven't watched this in a little while, you know. What a ting, what a ting. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah, it was a dread day. It really, really was a dread, dread day. Dread, dread day. Okay, I think this is too much towards the end. Let's see. It's, it's when the stage is happening. Blah, blah, blah. Right, here we go. So I want you guys to tell me from seeing this, right? I want you guys to tell me if this man, look at the positioning yeah and let's see if this man is truly hold on right hold on hold on right cool i think it's from here just watch it anyway mm, i think it's from here right so you guys just tell me if this man is shouting at me or shouting at her now bear in mind i'm not going to share the stage with her right i'm not going to share the stage with her at all so Look at his line of sight. Look at where she is and just pre everything and tell me what you think. Um, yeah, I've got to respond to it, really, because like I said, it's a footprint that they're trying to leave. That's why they're so incessant with it, Angle. Do you understand me? But anyway, let me share. And then you guys tell me what it is. DM Lion Alta Arda. That's why you can't come on here. There's no GDPR because Brown Sugarfall has given me her permission. Can you put that in the chat for me, Brown Sugarfall, that you're giving me your permission? There's no GDPR around anything. And it wouldn't be anyway. It's a public event being filmed by everybody. I do believe. We need to talk about the women pedophiles because there's a lot. You take your picnic, go get the man and get money. I see that thing that that dog shit. You are a pedophile. And thank you all so much for being here. I just want to say a special thank you. Firstly to Afua for allowing me to come on her platform and speak my story, but also to all of the sisters who watched my story and who have started to support my own campaign. It has been so powerful to me. So many of you are here, you just know me through Afua. My name is Linnea, right? But my YouTube is called Afro Belly, and that's where you can find my documentaries. So I'm gonna sing some songs, they're not mine, but these songs have been written about sexual abuse, pedophilia, and what's happening in the community. Hey, hey! And I can't go, man. What is, I just see a new guy. What is the kid today? Time is up, Milton McGowan. Your 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 time is up. Milton McGowan. Your time is up. Milton McGowan. Why are you causing this good? I'm gonna go. You see, you ruin. Are you gonna put your own in that? Yes, you ruin. We ask them, yeah, we protect them, yeah. We're screwed in our back. People still be born. And you can tell them back a friend from alone. If not, it's not to be so happy, they're planning your own. You're planning your children, and let you know. Oh, oh. 
Prevention better than cure. Execution great. Prison I got to go for them. Full time serve up the meds. That's why we ask for I got the strength. I miss the execution great. Put the rock on the neck and make them hell. Men on the rise to fill in the So there you have it. <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, people, that was somebody that was golden the man. He actually misunderstood the words of her song and thought that she was saying that he was doing whatever to a child. You understand me? Because there's a point where you can see she says the word of that song, you know, don't put your thing on an eight-year-old or whatever. And he goes, what? Like, because he thinks she's putting the song to him. That's what he thinks. You understand me? Um, and of course... He was at the police station having a go at me, having a go at both of us because she was uh, uh, on my live saying what she was saying and introducing this concept that the man was a sexual predator. Now, I only found out when other people, significant people in his life, um, contacted me, uh, several people, lots of people in his life, I mean, in his life, contacted me and gave me the full SP. And actually the vibe that she had was right because she was saying he gives me rapist vibes. That's where the man started first kicking off. Not until he got wrestled to the ground and everybody saw it. It did go kind of a little bit viral. I got contacted in my DMs, and all the rest of it. So, oh, please. <laughs> yeah, Jodie Kingdom's song. Um, is it? Oh, okay. I don't even keep up with half of them. But let's look at what Milton McGowan's going on with now. This nasty man that she's trying to accuse Big Afua. <laughs> Have you seen my exes? Even baby, um, what this baby father looked like somebody at least. You guys, when I when I was doing the thing with the Black Lives Matter thing, did anybody notice? Yeah, what this baby father in the background watching on, um, and also. Baby Afua, as a real baby Afua, she was very small. Uh, and another one of my daughters is in there as well. We already know she is now, so no point in hiding. But they're there looking very young and stuff. And what this baby father is there back in back in the thing. So if I was some mad woman and whatever, like, please, who is he? Why, why wouldn't he be um, who I said he was in my life? Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's another story for another day um, when it comes on to what this baby father 
Let's look at look what Milton McGowan's up to very, very recently. Because you guys might remember, and I've got permission to share this by my brother, Double D. But you guys might remember Double D, especially with the first March. He was at the second March, I think. I can't remember. But anyway, he's always been a supporter. He was, he was the first brother, not one of, the first brother to really put his head, his head above the parapet and support us wholly and solely. And he did it in that Double D way. You know, there was times when I'd be like, oh, Double D, loud Amanda, do you know what I mean? He's a young Jamaican guy, and he did it in that way. He used to tell them about their underneath, all kind of stuff that I'm like, Double D, no, man. But he dealt with them, and they would come for him on his page, and usual, same kind of thing really here, you know, but uh, definitely came as themselves. Let's call it that. They didn't have to hide behind low profiles. But yeah, he's been threatening Double D recently. And this is his uh, sentiments to me because I'm tight with my brother, Double D Milton. Behave yourself. If you don't want to get dashed down again. You understand? Behave yourself. Simple. Look at this. This is his correspondence with our brother, Milton McGowan. Yo, Dijon, we should reason. I've called you to do so. I don't want you caught up in my business with Denise and Marie Rose. There's no hyphen in the middle, by the way, uh, Milton. Um, and the feminine mind. So you see he's against her. So you know she's telling lie on him about she's been, like Milton McGowan said this himself, that he had something with me. I mean, I believe it. I feel she's telling lie on Milton. Um, re remember you violated my name and character when you called my name on your platform saying all sorts that is completely fabricated and fabricated and fell for it. Or are, or are one of them because I've spoken to, right, well, I don't know who that person is. I really don't. And I should have redacted that. I'm going to try and, edit that if I can that bit um I actually don't know who that person is and I've never spoken to anybody by that name by the way so let go that poor woman whoever she is this Angela um actually there's no surname attached it's just a name um I don't know who Angela is so whoever she is leave her alone because she's definitely not spoken to Denise okay or Afro Rose for that matter um I and uh, I've spoken to Angela and I have permission to put a stop to Denise and Marie Rose because she attached my name to her face as a perpetrator of heinous acts. I've just left the police station. One way or another, I'll get justice against this, that charlatan. She and that other nutter <laughs> exploited you to get at me. Now look at them both. Remember, I'm only dealing with my name and character in this. I won't allow it. Oh, please, Milton. You can't even show your face on here, bro. I invited you so many times and you did not come. Why? because you know the whole of whoever will come out and defend what I am saying about you. You cannot come on here. You can't. And you're not well, Mil, and you're another one who's not well, bro. Like You seriously aren't. You stalked my page. You don't like to be told that no one wants to talk to you anymore. Poor Dijon is living his best life. Do you understand? With his beautiful girl doing his thing. It's long forgotten. He hasn't mentioned you in years. And yet here you are in his inbox chatting up the most foolishness. And that's exactly what your problem is. When I told you I no longer want to speak to you because you passed your place, we reasoned about Vincent Rat. We had a reasoning. I allowed that. Lots of people were calling me at that time, not just you, reasoning about what I was doing. You came polite. You came correct. You were reasoning. And I was telling you, you were wrong. The more I told you you were wrong about your mate Vincent Rat uh, and the fact that he's not a community leader because you was trying to kind of separate whatever the, you know, you've heard everything about him over the past. That's what you told me that you know about what people say about him. And I asked you why you're still his friend. You said you're not exactly his friend, but you know him very well. And, uh, and I asked you why you think somebody like that should be called a community leader. It got into a heated argument because you clearly cannot debate anyone. Um, and that was that I ended it, the conversation, because I thought you're just getting too heated. Then I don't know, a week or maybe two weeks later, he pops up again. And I'm thinking, is this guy all right? So we have another reasoning. And then there's an, I tell you, please don't call back my phone because you start shouting at me. And then I put down the phone and then there's some back and forth in, in the uh, Facebook Messenger. And then I block you. And then you turn up in my chats as a horrible troll and you start trolling the women that are telling their stories. We can't allow you to do that, brother. That's all it is. That's the only beef between me and this man. Uh, and like Afro Belly, I only ever met these people at the march. I've never met Afro Belly in real life, apart from at that march. Never, not once. She claims to know all these things about me. She calls my children's name and my uh, and their father's names as if she knows them. But I've only met you once at the march. What is your problem? Do you understand me? 
these people just see a no. You know, I wish I did suspect you enough because I would have taped those conversations I've had with you on the phone and then I could bear witness. I could bear witness as well how you were giving me ideas on how to entrap what this baby father, how you gave me the idea of using a decoy for him when I wasn't actually going to do that. I was just going to let him turn up and jump out of the camera. You were the one you even offered your services. And when I got back to you ages after that conversation, it turned out that the day I wanted to do it, you couldn't do it. So I used another decoy. OK, that's what happened. So you're a liar. You're a liar. And those conversations took place on the phone. I'm not one to go in WhatsApp, enough, enough, enough messages back and forth like I'm having conversations with people. I prefer to talk. You understand? Um, and I wish I had taped it because then I would have just debunked that side of things for a long time. You really are a very, very unwell child. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where's your family? Yeah? I'm at loggerheads with uh, a couple of my direct siblings who we all know, and I'm going to talk about them um, very soon, uh, especially my sister who calls herself my sister. I'm going to break that whole story down. Uh, and I'm going to break down why um, there are issues with me seeing my, my first set of grandchildren. I'm going to break it down. Let these people think they can tell lies on certain things. They cannot. I'm going to break it down. Uh, and those people would love to silence me. They're trying to silence me when I speak my truth. It's not castigating people because I don't call them names and all of that kind of thing. I just talk about these people's wickedness in relation to my life. That's what I do. And that's my cleansing. When I get over that, yeah, then we can talk about something else. But at the end of the day, that's my cleansing because for 40 years, 40 plus years, uh, I did not tell my story. I didn't, you know. But we're sharing tonight, people. We're sharing. Yeah, we are sharing. So that's what Milton's going on with. That's what he's going on with. I want to kind of move to another person who tried to attack his time is up, and Afua, and who means me no good whatsoever. You know, these people, when I mentioned TTIP at the Sasha Day, I was very serious about that. These people are a bunch of charlatans. And I don't understand how there are women in our community who can step to this platform under the premise that they have been sexually assaulted themselves, right? Make a big deal out of it because I've never heard of these people before. They put out a video, which by the time I became aware of them because they contacted me, they would taken down that video because they've been threatened uh, that their house would be taken if they didn't take down the video. And these are all the inner workings of TTIP. They're a really nasty piece of outfit. And I've mentioned Charles, Charles Gordon here before and all that banned with him. Um, but when this sister, meaning uh, Donna Marie Turner, moved to me, and the first time I ever heard of this woman, I'm not from South London, I never heard of her, uh, was when she'd done this video. And I've said it here before, I'll say it again. Her words were, uh, and strike me down, swear on your children's lives, Donna, because I can swear on mine. Yeah? Swear on that, that you never said that. Mind you, them people are wicked enough to do them things, you know. Anyway, but she said to me, um, uh, I, I, have you seen the video? And I'm like, what video? Do you know what I mean? Um, she told me about this video. Now, I'd never actually seen the video until it arrived in my inbox lately, along with uh, another thing um, that she's doing at the moment. And I just want to look at that because you see that spirit that Afro Belly came with. You can see in those clips, even when she gets on the stage, what does she do first, people? She mentions her platform. Yeah. And she's so happy that some of coming on Afro's thing has made a lot of people come over and support her thing. You see, these people, they don't even realize when they're revealing their dirty intentions. She said it very clearly on the video. Go back and watch it, people. Um, yeah, I hear you, Just Me Fifi, but I want to track my business. That's what I want to do. Um, and it's not really my business. It's my public business. I don't track my private business at all, unless I want to. And like I said, I am telling my story. I am writing my book. Now, I've been writing this book since I was 46 years old. Oh, no, we can't finish this book. You understand me? And I haven't got very far with it. I really haven't. I've got the prologue. Uh, and I'm going to share that with you guys at the end. You guys tell me. Um, when I do share that, if it's something that you lot would want to read and buy. Because I'm a human being, we all have insecurities. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I kind of voiced that in that prologue. But everybody I've read it to says, no, it's a really, you know, it's really good. I've never written a book. I've written poetry. I've written um, uh, non-fiction pieces for arti like articles and, and blogs and stuff like that. But I've never written a book. And I know I'm a good creative writer sometimes uh, when I'm in a good space. And other times I might doubt that a little bit. 
So I haven't really put it out there. And I know there's lots been happening in my life since I started that book at 46 years old. But it's funny because sometimes the spirit moves you in a way that, you you know, certain things you set out to do, you don't do them till much later. And you realize that the onset of that thing was prophetic. So you've got to kind of live some more of it before whatever you started comes to fruit. You know, it's that kind of thing, I do believe, uh, with my thing. But anyway, I digress. Let me get back to what I was going to say about DMT. Um, I'm going to play that video. Um, it's been in the public domain and lots of people have screenshots and it floats around WhatsApp, hence the reason that I've already got it. Um, even though that person took it down, it was a little bit too late, too little too late. And um, yeah, let's have a look at it because I just can't get what's coming next. And I want to share that with you guys, you know. So let's have a look. Let me try and share again. Okay. Oh, it's a long one tonight. I didn't mean for it to be, but it is. And I'm happy that it is, actually. So let's have a look at this. Hmm. Hold back. See if I can get this back up. Okay, then. Right. Hmm. Have I got it, though? I don't think I have, you know. Where did I put that? Ah, no, I've got it somewhere. I must do. Guys, I don't think I've got it on here. And I'm not sure where I'm going to find it right at this moment. I thought that's what I had. But it's not. Why don't I have that? I've got it somewhere, guys. All right, let me try and get it, actually, because I have got it somewhere. Yes, I do. Here we go. Try and get it up for you, people. Give me a moment, people. Oh, no, it's not loading. Perhaps I'm not supposed to show it. Let's see. Well, let us see. All right. Maybe it will load now. Okay. Lord, there's something damn slow tonight, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, dear. All right. I can't find it. I might have to wait until next week, or maybe we should listen to some music um, until I do find it, because I'm pretty sure I uploaded this thing, and I don't know where it is right now. How very strange. How very, very strange. Let me try and find it, people. Give me a moment. Right, found it. Let me share this screen. So take a look at this, guys. It's really quite profound. I'm going to put out a trigger warning for anybody that feels triggered by um, stories of SA or anything like that, because it is it is kind of deep still, and I felt it. I'd never watched this thing before. By the time Sisters told me it was of his existence when she she um, approached the platform and stuff like that, um, I, it was down, and I had never been given it until recently so when i've watched this and i've been given it with this and another video i'm going to show you when i've watched it i was shocked so i didn't really know the magnitude of it do you understand but let me just share this right now unbelievable man one second guys Right, let me try and get some sound on this thing. See, right, it's playing, but why haven't I got any sound? Hmm. Sound is up. Um, 
want to just share something. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, it's still good morning, isn't it? It's just after 11. Um, I want to just share something with you all that I think is really, really important and needs to be said. And this, whilst this conversation is for everyone, this is specifically for my people living in the borough of Croydon. Some of them, my fellow uh, uh, grassroots organisation leaders i want you to please people share this because this is something that needs to be said yeah and what i don't want yeah from some of you going to see this because there's some of you who've got this incessant need to conflate one thing with another so you don't need to mention this conversation like i'm just telling you something in it it does let can we just be adult for a hot minute many years ago I was sexually assaulted after a party. Fast forward a good 10, 11 years. Donna's in a different place. Donna is a different person. But I start to see that this individual that did this thing to me is starting to be, you know, hang around with a certain political party. Not the Labour Party, not the Conservative Party, a party by the name of Take the Initiative. So TTIP, I think they call themselves. And so because I have used my platform to kind of showcase this particular party before, as you know, I do, because I'm all for my people and there's no one way to do things. If there's something else that's out there, I'm going to offer it to you, not use my platform to kind of showcase it. I had a word, a little, you know, the way you do, you have a little one-away conversation with one of the founders. And I just made him know that, boom, you see this person? I've had this experience with them. And, you know, I can't speak for other people. I'm just going to say I talked about the experience that I had with this particular individual. So my words were, as a practitioner, you might want to be careful of that individual still because I've had this experience. It's a word to the wise in terms of context and safeguarding. Because in the world in which I work, people, I'm a pedagogue. Safeguarding is fundamental in the way that as much as you see me talking, I'm constantly thinking about safeguarding. I'm safeguarding that young person, their parent, the family, the wider context. It's, it's, it's what's paramount in this type of work that we do. So I shared that in confidence and in context around safeguarding or as we would call it differently, like a word to the wise, yeah? I then received a phone call from the same said person who is one of the founders of this political party a week later, who then said, is it all right if I share this with my, with the other founder? Because I feel what you've told me is, is, is quite deep. Is it all right? And I said, yes, as long as it's shared in the context with which I shared it to you, then yeah, I don't see no reason why this person should also kind of be informed about the individual I'm talking about. Only to have three weeks after that, the person that the whole conversation and safeguarding was centered on ring me up and attack me verbally. Ring me up and attack me verbally. Which of course triggered me and brought back all of the memories of the incident. Now, why, why am I making this video? Why am I saying this? I'm going to tell you why. And I don't think, you know, I've called out TTIP. That's who they are. And we know they have a history. I mean, they're not, they don't have the best history in keeping black women safe. Look what happened to Sasha Johnson on their watch. But I'm going to say this much. Sometimes people, we have to do our research. You know? We have to do our research. And when you when you put yourself in a place of, of, of a public uh, um, profile, it is incumbent on you whether you want to or not to do your research. Because you have to know who you're working with. You have to know who's around you. You have to. Just because we're the black community don't mean that we don't have pasts. We've all got pasts. But don't mean that the people you're necessarily gathering with or trying to do the work with have the credentials and the credibility that you might need for your organisation. And so when I sit down here and I'm seeing Pride of Croydon Awards being put on by the same organization. They're the ones that are backing it. I have to really go and make this video because 
it's not that I'm the watchdog of Croydon, but I cannot allow, knowing my experience of having my own attack weaponized and used on me, I can't sit here and let the likes of Tracy Davis, who is godmother to my son, and 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 Dexter, who is their nephew, and Lee Townsend, and I'm calling out their names because them people are family to me, you understand? I can't see them being nominated for awards by some organisation who's safeguarding practices. They say, they, they, you know, they're still a political party, and there are lots of organisations like them out there that want to do things in the community. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't. What I'm saying is we, the community, must further scrutinise them. Just becoming black no means set. They're there to protect you. And for my black sisters out there, I really do wonder sometimes, you know, as a black male organization, I was offered no. Do you know what it took to sort this thing out? I'm going to make you know what it took to sort this. This thing nearly went rolled, my people. You hear me? If I wasn't so well connected, and I say this clearly, if I wasn't so well connected, and I don't just mean on road, I mean within the community, this thing would have gone left, 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 left. So I bring this before you today because I'm saying, I, I, you know, people like DJ Miltre, my brethren, on these people's lineup, like, can we just do our research first, people? If people are not credible, politics is one thing, but if their organisation at the lead is not credible, where is that? You know, I, I really would like to see their safeguarding policy. Safeguarding 101 was broken. Something was shared with you in confidence about a vulnerability. I'm the person with the vulnerability, you know, and I've shared it because I'm like, just a word to the wise. And then it's weaponized back on me. Then people ain't safe. They're not a safe pair of hands. And so I'm just sharing this to you lot because it's, it's, it's you, you know, it's occurring to me and I hope it occurs to you. We've, we've got to scrutinize our own. And just because it's Ian Black or whatever it is doesn't mean that we're safe. What, what, what qualifications do they have? And I don't just mean paper qualifications. What is some of their work? 100%, I'm not surprised our hypocrisy. It's 100%. And we, we are not safe. And, and at a time where women nationally, women the world over, not even just nationally, are under attack by men. Let's just look at, you know, women at, under attack. By, by, black, by black men, some black men in our community. I'm not going to say all, because I tell you, like I said, it's, my, it's another set of brothers that sorted this thing out. So I'm not going to stay on this and tell a lie. I'm not going to say it's all black men, because it can't be, because it's my, black, it's my same black brothers that turn around and said, this cannot happen to D. What is going on here? Say what I'm telling you lot. You see TTIP and organizations like them? Watch them. Do your research, my people. Keep yourselves safe from harm. These people, they like to show up. They like to pimp off of our poverty. I'm not saying that they don't, their intentions are not right. But if you don't have the framework, brother, you can't offer people an alternative life. You think if this was the Labour Party and I made this, I made this video, you think of us to go on Twitter and make this video and this is happening in the Labour Party. Them things would be allowed to stand. So why is it you must bring a little dotty nastiness to the black community and think that no one ain't going to say nothing? What, we're second class. But yet you say that you're a people, you're a party that's set up to help black people. Please, for the love of Christ in his manger. So yeah, I had to come and bring this to you lot. And you can hear that I'm, because I'm, you know, I'm going to shout out a full rose and, 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 and all of the women that are busy in our community calling out the harm that is being done. As a woman, yeah? As a woman, I am a woman. I am a black woman. I am black before I'm anything else and then I am a woman. I have a strong belief and expectation that my community is supposed to keep me safe. Now, it might not necessarily be everybody, everybody agrees with you. might not all agree to that. But that's my expectation because that's the way I was raised. If something wrong, you run to your people then. And so I know that something is wrong, so I have to call it out. I, I was, you know, I've been backwards and forwards with this because obviously, I know some of you now, you can't keep your blasted mouth shut. Someone's going to want to go and ask chairman about it. And all, I can't take mix up. That's when I just get lose my temper. So I haven't wanted to say anything. And I'm, you know, I'm here to show how TTIP and organizations like them across the nation are coming into the black community, not doing their homework. We're not doing our homework about them. 
And just because they're coming and they're offering one to award, yeah, they think that it's all right. You think you're going to canvas on the streets of Croydon. I want everybody to know that they're not a safe pair of hands because under their watch, I was triggered. I was traumatized. And I'm well connected to what I'm to the them and the other women round about in the community that probably don't have access to the people that I have to. What happens to them? What happens to you lost daughters and granddaughters and your wives and your sisters that might not be DMT? What happens to them? I said it during lockdown and I'll say it again. In order for us as a people to move forward, we must hold ourselves to account. These things cannot be left because one of them is a millionaire and one of them just come out of jail. No, no. Harm is harm is harm. And we have to call it out. So today I'm not banning fire and I'm not, I am hope this is not coming across disrespectful. I'm trying to be as professional as I can. But my people, I say it go. And I'm just telling you the truth. And I would like you to share this video because we need to hold ourselves to account. If we cannot hold ourselves as a black community to a higher regard, then what the hell do we expect? No wonder our youths don't even respect us and just got us on some little fool fool thing. Because we the adults, we are, are, women are too afraid to speak about things. You don't even know how much guts this is taking for me to even make this video. And you said the Wow. And you know, I don't disbelieve sister because the individual that she accused is a thoroughly nasty piece of work. So I don't disbelieve her. And Kenny, you're right. No one deserves that, right? Um, when she contacted me over this video, I hadn't seen the video. I've, I've just, as I said, seen it very, very recently. She told me about the story though. And she shouts me out in the video. Um, I don't think I realize. I'm, I'm trying to think, did she tell me she shouted me out? Can't remember. But I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, so you're doing all of that to get my attention. I obviously didn't hit you up on the back of it, so it didn't get to me. You then come to me, yeah, with it. I'm like, oh my God, whatever. You come to the march with the same intentions as Afro, but it was the same year. Um, but yet you're shouting me out on this video, like foolishness. There was another incident where um, we had a live and somebody was talking about TTIP and some of her business came out in it. And I basically, after the live, cut that bit out because I thought, mm-mm. As much as me and her have had our back and forth, I'm not about that. I don't need to be getting into the woman's private life and mashing up that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So she called me. She swallowed her pride because pride, what she did at 2022, and if go back and watch it, guys, it's 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 classic. It's mint. Yeah? I'm not going to go back over the story too tough. Watch it. Um, what she did then really deserved for her to step to me rather than put out some eurocentric statement on her facebook trying to play it down or even challenge me she should have stepped to me and told me she was sorry but because of the, the issue of the information that came out on that live that was after all of this she knew she had to step to me like for herself so she got back my number because i blocked her or something i can't remember how it went but she got back my number and she contacted me and she said you know the live last night and whatever and i let her talk uh and then when she finished i said to her well it would have been nice to get a contact from you at the time when me and you were beefing that would have been nice uh, and you don't have to worry yourself because I cut it out last night I stayed up most of the night with one of my team making sure that that wasn't there in the morning even though I can't help it because it was at 3,000 views by the time we did it and figured it all out because we didn't know how to do it yeah but I stayed up till our three o'clock in the morning making sure that woman's thing was not there and I know she felt shame it was a bit awkward and you know we said our salams and off she went never heard from her since but you know when someone's shame, because would you offer me the same thing, Donna Murray Turner? No, you wouldn't. You'd have tried, you'd have wiped the floor with me. You'd have left that in. That's the kind of characters we're dealing with, and that's the kind of characters who come for us. But anyway, look at all of that. This is what disturbs me. Yeah, and I believe the sister. I definitely don't doubt her. And this was real. Bear in mind, people, this was only 18 months ago that she put that video out and then took it straight down because she was threatened by the head of the, the TTIP that he'd come for her house in defamation. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, huh? So she took it straight down and um, then she came to me. So in any event, <clears throat> this now is the 2024 campaign for Croydon's TTIP candidate for Croydon. That's what I'm gonna show you now, guys.
They only knock on doors when they want votes. It's only this week I've got MPs asking me, will I write a piece for them and put my picture in mm -hmm. their literature? I haven't seen them for four years. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. They're not about when things happen on a day to day. So this is really important. And then that yeah, happens after that. But really, for you guys to feel galvanized to put yourselves forward for the council positions. Um, this is our chance. We will never, it's too, too much. It's not coincidental. This, we will never get this chance again. Labour are down. The Conservatives are all over the place. It really is a time for independent thinking, but more importantly, for communities that often don't have a voice to get together and create their own voice. <laughs>
put it out, see who wants to jump on. If not, I'm going to bid you guys farewell. That is the presentation for tonight. And I shall see you next week where we are going to get back to business. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, apart from one thing, I feel like um, we should uh, present the decoy. Uh, and she's agreed to do that, except tonight was a bit busy for her. So we are going to present the decoy who was uh, the decoy for Claire Kennedy. And we're going to have a little chat. And then people can hear, it ain't my bloody voice. Um, and that's that. And then we are going to explore some stuff around my grandchildren next week. And then the other half is going to be back to business. And from there, we ain't going there. Unless we're reporting on the court case or any updates or anything else. These people are jackasses. You know? I'm not in a band. I'm not an activist. I'm not this. I'm not that. Foolishness. And as I say, I've left it long. They've been saying it for ages. The fact is it bothers a lot of people around me, including my children. And it bothers... Uh, a lot of the followers, lick back Afua, show them what you got. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do it tonight. I'll do it tonight. But I really can't be asked people, I swear down. And yeah, saying that you were gang raped and using your story, jump on Hurricane Toya. Damn, yeah, ask them. Let's go tonight. We're having a long one. We ain't had one of them in a while. There's the link, people. It does bother you. It would bother you, sister. Alta Arda. Out of order and trying to say that I eat. What is that? What is that? There's the link, people. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Of course, there's spin doctoring, but there are idiots that believe it's my voice. All right. Bless up. Bless up, Toya. Yes, yeah. This it's the story of I was gang raped. I, I was never gang raped. That's a lie. I, if you listen to my story, the first time I come on and the time before, I was not gang raped. I don't know where that's come from. Foolishness. And and Afu has not used my story. I told my story on Afu's platform. That's what I want to say. And I'm not the one who named Kwame neither. I never come to you with Kwame, did I? Not at all. So I don't understand. He's been coming for me, saying I need to be arrested, well, me and Grandma. As, as far as I know, your people are Dominican, and it was a bag of African girls that came to me, African parentage, you know? So There you have it. And my mum's Antiguan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So please. Liars. And yeah, I think, it, I think they said it's Afro Belly that said I was gang raped. I wasn't. Was and. and that's what well, I was told, but I'm not sure. Concerned. They're all working together, all of them. So I just put them I'm not sure, them. but what I will say, that's a lie, number one. And even at the march, I barely spoke to her. I said, hello. She said, follow me. I followed her for, what, two weeks, then I stopped following her. So, mm -hmm. so uh, it's just, uh, it's just been a nightmare with these people lately. So yeah, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to clarify them things because I just think it's crazy. Anything yeah. to just mash it up, they're, they're lying now. That's why you can and, tell it's perpetrators, peds and what on all the rest of it, because only they want to silence it like that. Do you understand? We've such a definitely, so definitely all, been called out, all of them, every last one of them, they're horrible. Sis, mute up a second. I'm gonna see who Angel is. I've let them on. And and I can control your mic if you're not all oh, right. Oh, I can tell you jumped off already, sis. I was just muting you up, Toya. I was going to keep you on, but never mind. Angel. Hi. Hi, sis. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I've spoke before. Um, oh, you have? Yeah, I think it was a couple of, probably last month. Oh, welcome back then, sis. Welcome yeah. back. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. <laughs> I've just seen, so I just said, let me jump on and see what's going on. Okay. All right. I thought you might want to comment or on the show or pick up on anything. I've only just literally tuned in. Oh, I see. I so see. Me. Well, you're here on your own, sis. So Toya jumped oh. on. So we're not going to have much of a panel tonight, unfortunately, sis. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but you good, though. Are you well? I do remember your voice a little bit, I think. Yeah, I yeah. My voice is like um, distinguishable. <laughs> yeah. You're from, right? Uh, Brummy, yes, Brummy, yes, yes, I do remember you. I don't remember yeah. which line, but I do remember you. Yeah, bless up, yeah. my sister, blessed love, and you, and All keep right, up the good work. 
Thank you. Thank you, my sister. You know, people like yourself, you, you're silent, you come on, you show up, you know, and we really appreciate people like yourself, my sister. Blessed love. Yeah. All right, my we, darling. All right. Take care. Take care. All right. Have fun. Bye. Oh, bless her cotton socks. Bless you, sis. All the way from Birmingham. Yeah, very surprised. And so we have it, people. I don't know if anyone's going to jump on. The link is definitely still there. I'll put it out one more time. And then we'll see what else we get, where the neck falls. But can't see Afro Belly. Can't see Dotty Lux. Can't see Protagonist. Can't see Milton McGowan. You know they were watching. Can't see DMT. Can't see none of them. None of them can't face me. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting, their conduct and their behaviour. I might come on here and cuss bad one and they want to call me, ooh, look at her, she's crass. But they're going to follow someone who polishes their words and has absolutely no integrity whatsoever. Are you having a laugh? We don't want you. Go follow your people. We, we don't want you here. <laughs> Understand me? We only need the lion heart people here, the people with true integrity. What does Mavado say, Brad Sugar for? <laughs> Can't wait to see you guys at March. Uh, his time is up March 2024. As Mavado say, I'll oh, fight them, try fight me. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're right beside me. All of them go on like they're mighty. Said so they're never gonna win. <laughs> I don't even remember the um the melody on that, but I do know those words. Bless up, bless up, bless up. I loved his time is up, family man. How can I how can I leave you guys? Do you know how much I've wanted to walk away from last year, the year before? It's just so intense a lot of the time, you know. And more and more, especially in this season. It's like there's so much coming at me that says, nah, you ain't going nowhere after the conversations I've been having. The people that have randomly hit me up, calling me on uh, Facebook Messenger and on, also on Instagram and just literally just say, nah, we're here. We're, we might be silent, but we are here and we are a majority. And that's good enough for me. OK, and I know we'll see them out at the march when it's time to do the real work, not to sit up and DM social media chatting caca fart. My people, there's no takers, so I'm going to leave you. Thank you, Brown Sugar Fool. This is it. When you're an empath, you soak it all up, don't you? And you want to help everyone at the end of the day. And all we've got is these dysfunctional people that are, are so baseless and have no integrity whatsoever that think they can come and try and undermine what is really essential in the black community. We never talked about this. And I want to hear from the under 40s. Or the under 45s even, perhaps. I don't really want to hear from them. We're talking historic. My generation is where this started. And it has rolled out. Many young women have benefited from this platform as well. Because we are breaking generational curses. And we are changing the narrative. And that's a fact. And I've been doing this 30 years like my brother Leo bore witness to. Okay? Not you little people that play dirty slap music in a dance and feel so nice somebody. Not you look at people that come on the, the thing with trouble, shovels worth of makeup on because you cannot be your authentic self because you're too insecure to present your real self to the world. So you hide behind a mask. I don't want to hear from these people. They're a bunch of idiots. You understand me? And they have not walked the walk. All they do is talk the talk, but they have not walked the walk. And it's as simple as that. Blessed love, people. I shall see you guys next week. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. I know I will. Uh, I'm seeing my little granddaughter this weekend. Cannot wait on Sunday because I've not seen her since before I went away. And she started to walk. So I'm very excited. Uh, they're all coming round and I'll be cooking my food. Uh, and it is what it is. So that's what I'll be doing this week. Meanwhile, this lot will be here like sharks, crabs in a barrel, trawling over my content so that they can get some content for themselves. Use your creativity, man. Ciao. Blessed love, people. Love you lots. His time is up, 2024. Get the word going. Uh, and sister, you know who you are. We're going to get them flyers going real soon. We've got enough in the pot for that now. And that is our first kickoff. That's what, what's going to happen. We start raising more from there for sound system stage and all the bits that we usually raise for. Blessed love. Blessed love. Blessed love. <laughs>